Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to The Art of War. We are here bringing you another very exciting matchup. Right at the beginning of 9th edition, with the new points values, we have my Ultramarines against Mark. And my Emperor's Children. Should be a pretty dramatic game here. We're getting the forces of good against the forces of evil. Should be a pretty good one here. Um, what are you bringing today, Mark? So today I'm bringing the Emperor's Children list with some Night Lord support, just to be able to turn off some auras and have some cool toolboxy abilities like that. Uh, I got 40 noise marines, guys. I got mutilators. I got rhinos. I got disco lords. I got demon prince and a dark apostle. I have cultists. They, they just attack one mm -hmm. of. Yeah. And uh, that's mostly my list. <laughs> yeah. And I've got Gulliman. And uh, I don't. You turn off Oris? I turn off Oris. He turns off Oris, folks. So we're going to be thinking about this one. <laughs> uh, should be a very exciting game. I've got Gulliman, some aggressors, a couple intercessors and an impulsor, as well as a drop pod with some graph cannons in it. And then some nice suppressor units kind of filling out the flanks. Uh, it should be a really exciting game. Uh, yeah. Want to talk to us about our sponsors? So, talk about mission a little bit, Lou? Let's talk about the mission. We're playing the new missions. The GT tournament pack has been released mm -hmm. now and leaked out. Uh, we're playing Vital Intelligence. So, here we stand. I don't know what they're laughing in the background about. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Well, we'll All right. I'm so, off my train of thought. No problem. So, yeah, we've got six on. objectives and we're playing on Vanguard Strike. Four of the objectives are in No Man's Land, a nice line down the middle. Uh, you should be able to see it on the overhead now and as well there's one objective on the overhead now uh there's one objective in each deployment zone so we're definitely gonna have to get in the middle and fight each other uh should be a pretty exciting game yep so our humble dumble sponsors part of like partnering together and growing up in there first we have warp fire minis mm -hmm. here they say like you got old miniatures you got unpainted stuff you have badly painted stuff traded in a 50 percent buy-in or something like that mm -hmm. you can buy new stuff with your credit you can go on with that there's so many options to do more and more warp fire what's the next one we got we've got uh this lovely terrain we got this lovely terrain comes from big bear 3d mm -hmm. he makes all the all the terrain here it's both aesthetic and competitive he got multiple boards he has a linen board and a mark board on the way mm -hmm. he's got multiple lovers that he's working on you can also i believe get him painted too uh by our good friend cook and he's you look at the stuff it's a really exotic style it's really yep. nice to look at and then we have we have 3d wargaming right we have 3d wargaming 3d6 wargaming they make these lovely objectives and yep. do they also make the maps or is that that's no table that, war? that's table war and that's the next sponsors talking about table war uh they make the mats and they have the new size coming out so that's really exciting like we mm -hmm. all we don't have to cut mats guys don't cut mats yep <laughs> and let's not forget about obey alliance right let's go with obey alliance yeah obey alliance obey alliance is really helping us out here they're kind of sponsoring this little project of ours so any support you can give to us helps us out a lot because they're trying to see if 40k is viable as a competitive game something that they can get into streaming for so all the support you give us grows you know growing us makes obey you know see that 40k is a competitive 40K game and they're gonna farther. be willing to invest in it we'll be able to grow even more turn this into a more competitive game like an esport yep where we stands all right well, let's uh, go to that overhead let's talk about our deployments <laughs> all right all right so gamble gamble you want to go over your deployment first mark so my deployment you got ready i have five noise marines here two tin man noise marines here inside of rhinos mm -hmm. i got on the bottom floor dark disciple or dark fossil has two little followers demon prince right here and two disco lords okay all this the one's the, the warlord back, this one's the fast. relic mm -hmm. but i have 10 cultists venom reserves i have two units of mutilators I have 10 noise rings on the outflank and five noise rings in the outflank. All right. And on my side of the table, I have six aggressors right in the corner, as well as a chaplain jump pack and a uh, impulsor with an intercessor squad and an ancient inside. Over here in this corner, I have the Primarch Guillemin, as well as two units of suppressors, a librarian, a whirlwind Scorpius, and right over here, this unit of five intercessors. My logic is that we both have redeploy strats, so I put some of my army in the back, some in the front, so either way, one redeploy, we'll get it either all in the front or all in back, depending on how the first turn roll-off goes. Yep. Over here. All right. You ready to go, right. Mark? Let's go, bro. Good luck. Good luck. Ho -ho! Roll the four. I roll the five. What decision do you want? I am going to elect to go first, Mr. Mark. Okay. Um. So now we both have to decide if we're doing any stratagems to redeploy. Yep. Mine is two command points. Yours is one. So yours is what twenty-eight front range. Currently got um, front range all day I, there with the bolters. I can advance and shoot. 
Right, but you also minus two to your move to the that crater. Is so I will elect to redeploy one unit. All right. I am also spending the two command points to redeploy three units. Okay. So now we must roll off to see who is going to redeploy first. Hold one. Mark is a one. I have a six. I think Mark is going to redeploy the first unit here. Okay. So my first redeployment is going to be do, 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 do. sink. We're just going to go here. All right, Mark is kind of uh, giving me this side of the board, which, you know what? I'm not really opposed to that. But now I need to decide how I'm going to deal with that. So looks like there is a firing lane in between there. So I can shoot that thing. I can pop the, all the suppressors out and shoot there. I should not have picked up my deployment zone dice. <laughs> I laid them out for you. You did. You, you're not wrong. <laughs> Um, all right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this impulsor over here because I really want to shoot over onto this objective. But I think that we're going to put the... Uh, Make sure with this guy. Within six. Bam. Okay. They're 24 apart. 24 apart. It means that we're way, one of us is way too close. Or maybe it not be 24 apart. I'm not quite sure, actually. 24, 24 apart? All right, we're just going to... I'm just going to back up so that I'm 24 yeah. inches away from you. All right, and we're going to use this redeploy to get a uh, lovely and wonderful Guillemin right up to the front. Going to go that front line. And then bring the chaplain. So, John, right what's your here. thought process here, uh, redeploying your units? So, my thought process is that um, I really, I deployed them on the edge here to make sure that Mark would try to move away from here if I was able to make him uh, redeploy first. Um, and I figured I could just bring them back to safety if I needed to. So, really, I'm just trying to make sure that I get as much damage going as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark does have quite a few guns in his list. Um, unfortunately, he, he does put out a good amount of firepower. So I really want to uh, try to dent that early. And I want to have at least one turn where I'm not worrying about his reserves. Really, I need to stop these noise marines from blasting me before he's able to deliver the Disco Lords and the Demon Prince. Because um, I'm probably not going to have to shoot those turn one, but there is going to come a point where I have to do it. Right. Before All we get right. to the next question, John, mm -hmm. uh, Halo just gifted another five subs. He's up to Halo! 250 gifted subs across the channel. What a, what Thank you so boss. much, Halo. You are the absolute man. The absolute Thank you. Man. All right. Let's Commander Dante in the flesh. Beginning of the battle round. Yep. Plus one to wound, closest target. Let's toss on the aggressors. All right. Five of them all. Um, I fail I it. Mine. I'll wise orator. Uh, still fail still it. Still fail. Oh, uh oh. Plus two to charge. I'd make that. Great. All right, so no plus one to wound on the uh, the aggressors. I did fail that, unfortunately. And beginning of the battle round, we are good to go. So okay. we're going to go ahead and advance these aggressors. They do not take the penalty for advancing and shooting. They're going a healthy nine inches. Um, you up to eight I go up to nine. Six. I'm at seven currently. Is that seven? Because I want to gain one at the start of my turn. So you're at six right now. Six currently. Yes. Okay. Nine to six. So if I go right up like this, I'm going to get hit by a lot of things, but it's just 18 inches. We're just going to back it up a little bit. We don't need to be as close as I was there. And I do have a drop pod in reserve, but I don't think that this is the right turn for that. No, because I'm kind of properly well screened out and you're not hitting anything that's really valuable. Um, probably not. Bloop, bloop, bloop. You sure they all got 18? So that makes sure. Right now I've got four. I'm not gonna be double shooting. I'm not gonna be doing that much damage to them, but a little bit will help. I think I'll bump them up a little bit more. So how fast do those uh, Lotus Gordons move? 12? Uh, 12. And they don't advance in charge, is that no. correct? Okay. Question for you guys. Uh, what mission is this? I don't recognize the objective placement from the spoiled uh, leaked GT missions. It is vital intelligence. It is the Vanguard where you have the four lined up like this. I mean, it's... Kind of an X. I'm not sure what else to call it as. What number was it? Uh, two on the prime on the uh of the of the actual missions, but it has a different bigger number. Number thirteen, vital intelligence. And then one other question for you, John. What do you think of uh, Gilliman overall in your list? Um, do you think an option like Lieutenant and Calgar would be better overall, or do you prefer Gilliman? I really want to try out Guillemin because this is my first time with Ultramarines, and I'm going to be honest, if you're playing Ultramarines, you should, yeah, you've got to try Guillemin at least once. I, my gut instinct is that I'm going to try out Calgar next. I have the model, he's just not painted yet. 
And I, I'm imagining I'm going to actually end up with Kalgar over Giamon. Giamon's going to advance. Um, he moves 9 base, plus 1 to advance rolls because he's an Imperium. 11 total. I'll just put him back there. Yep, yep. So right now, all three suppressors can see the Rhino, the aggressors can gotcha. see the Rhino. And then we're going to bring out the next suppressor unit. We're going to line it up right there to make sure that they can also see this wonderful Rhino. We got some other questions from the chat. Are you guys planning to participate in the Alpine Cup in Austria 2021? Um, we, we did not plan on it, and I don't know if the travel ban um, from U.S. travel to Europe is going to be unrestricted by then. But we would love to get back to Europe. Um, many of us play in the WTC World Team Championships, so uh, we're hoping to get there um, next year. Um, but otherwise, you know, something like LGT, we could also uh, end up showing at. So uh, yes, we'd definitely love to travel to Europe, but we're gonna have to see uh, how the global situation pans out. And then another question, uh, John, yeah, what do you? Afterwards. What do you think about the Scorpius Whirlwind going up so little compared to Thunderfire's Whirlwinds and most <laughs> other indirect well, inches of them? Yeah, that's what we're just double saying. Um, definitely love that part. I really think that the Whirlwind Scorpius, as it currently stands, is a great unit. With that said, I think we can expect Forge World points to... So Forge World is supposed to be giving us new rules soon. We just don't really know when yet. Um, so for right now, hard to say, but I'm optimistically thinking that um it's it's a very good unit now and if its rules stay similar it'll probably continue to be a very good unit for its points yep thanks so much for subscribing Le Boutique, Le yeah, Boutique hellfire Le really appreciate your support welcome to the chat and also thanks Whee! uh gorsameth thanks so much for following welcome to the chat an aura of plus one. it's a 12 inch aura of plus one to advance and charge rules for imperium Philemon's a yep. kind of a boss all right so i'm thinking right now Mark's going to have enough to shoot out. I think I'm still going to just keep these guys hidden to make sure that he has to get into the middle to really shoot me. Yep. Because um, I'm pretty content with that. So the Librarian is on the objective, just in case that matters. And I think that's going to do it for my uh, movement phase. We're, again, not going to bring out um, the drop pod. I am going to do an action to deploy Scramblers. Yep. Um, so that'll be my midfield one, because they okay. did not advance. The Impulsor just boot popped up 14. They got out 9. Trying to get on objectives, try to get it out of the way, really make it hard for Mark to just shoot me. He could deploy all the way over there and blast Master down, but that's getting his Noise Marines out of the Rhino. And if they're down there, that's the only thing they're shooting, so I don't mind as much. We're going to go for the Psychic Phase. This Librarian's going to cast... He can cast two spells, but he knows three, thanks yep. to the Helm of Vakador. He's going to give myself the um, one command point. Four yep, yep. Skyr's Gaze. Uh, we pass on a seven. Plus one CP. Then command points. Got a couple extra questions for you guys. Uh, all right. First of all, in choosing your secondaries, what was your thought process? So I was planning on controlling the board mostly because my list is kind of a bully like that. Because John can't take the blunt of my force and have noise rings interrupt with that. I knew that he couldn't spread himself too thin, so I was planning on dominating most of the board and both going first or seconds. Um, and I just there's nothing good to take for killing units against him, and my list was already built around board control and objective control. Yeah. Quick thing, because I didn't ask earlier. Yeah. Which of these two Disco Lords is which? That's the Warlord. That's the Relic. The Seal of Oath is going to go on the Warlord. Okay. The Warlord is the one who re-rolls one. Yes. All right. Um, okay. So we're just going to cast um, Might of Heroes on Given. Okay. Uh, fails on a fails. Three. Real quick, Krasak. This is not a standardized terrain format. Like, you can't go to a tournament and expect to have always this terrain layout. We're just kind of playing with what we have and what we think it should be. Games Workshop did put out what they think a competitive match play game amount of terrain and kind of layout should be. Basically, they recommend two corner ruins, two large ruins in the middle, and then a couple other obscuring or uh, kind of area terrain features like forests and craters. So that's kind of what we're trying to represent. If you watch any of our other games, it's not always this exact layout. The uh, corner ruins and, or, and the middle ruins are sometimes different in size and placement, but they always are a similar type of overall layout. Also, thank you so much for following Sweet News. Sweet Naja. You guys have another job on another top of the job. channel. Yep. Uh, personally, I... Well, yes, we all have jobs outside the channel. Art of War as a full brand is my full-time job. Uh, Mr. Seeks, John, and Mark all have their own jobs as well. <laughs> this place. Yeah. 
All right, so what I did was I spent the command point to put these aggressors into tactical doctrine. Um, because I advanced, I don't get the ultramarine super doctrine of counting as stationary. That only applies to units that did not advance. So I will just get to shoot with the extra point of AP at this rhino. And I did make sure that all six aggressors are just an 18, really yep. trying to just buff this rhino as solidly as I can. Uh, thanks to my Primark, I will be rerolling all of these hit rolls. One of these is cocked. Now, if I had been able to cocked, if I had been able to get off the plus one to wound chance, I'm pretty sure that the aggressors might be killing it by themselves. However, I did bring out the suppressors to try to finish it off if it was necessary. Uh, Reroll ones to wound. Twelve AP one from the first volley. Twelve AP one. Yep. Second volley. Four ups. I'll take three. Yay. Out of 12. Yep. Got to run the same pitch. It's alright, that's why we brought out extra guns, folks. In case uh, Mark did this kind of shenanigans. I could probably just fail all the other half, so that's normal for me. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm counting on it. <laughs> alright, Goleman is given reroll ones. Gotta love Papa G. Um, one is cocked. Six. Seven, eight, just eight more saves. Eight more Take saves. One. Taking five. Okay, so you have two wounds left? Two wounds left. Okay, I'm all right with that. So we're just going to go ahead and fire that first volley of suppressors. Yep, yep. Directly there. Uh, Goleman will help that out. I am taking a heavy penalty. Huh? So five hits. Yep, Working yep. on uh, fours. Uh, just four AP3. Four AP3. Four AP3. We got five up in bones. I'll fail enough to die. Do I explode? No. no. There are 10 noise marines inside, though. 10 noise marines inside. I lose four. All right. Okay. So, so let me think of where I want to put them, Ben. Yep. Just a quick um, note, you do have to deploy them before you roll the dice. So you couldn't just deploy four in line of sight and then pull them. Because you have to deploy the whole unit before you roll the 10 dice. I thought you had to roll the full dice and then pick them out. You deploy them all and then roll. Which matters for situations where you can't deploy the whole unit. Right, okay. So what was the other way? <laughs> Any interesting questions in the chat? I mean, if that's the case, if they're just kind of slain, right? So does that mean I shoot on my death? You... I don't know. Can you shoot on... Yeah, it's whenever the model is slain. So then you could shoot on death. If I... Even if I die from the... From getting out? I, I guess. I was not aware of that. Just keep in mind that if you, you're you deploying them there, not knowing whether, how many ones you're going to roll. Right, but I was going to deploy them here anyway, so. Okay. All right. Do, 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 do. 14 dead souls. I love you too. Also, yeah, you will see someone pass psychic powers for Chaos Day since I clearly cannot. <laughs> Mark, right. is, uh, Mark is the champion of that moment. Vin, let me deploy these other four and I guess resolve them. Okay. Punk Fox, I think Assault Intercessors are really strong. Um, once we had them, uh, mm -hmm. different factions make What's use of them, of course. This one has fired, this one has not. Okay, if so. you're trying to make Come use of do. an army that lives in Tactical Just Doctrine. Pull those dudes. And then... What, what are, you, are you pointing at? We can't talk over each other. So if you're trying to make use of an army that lives in the Tactical Doctrine, they don't really make much sense. But if you're an army like White Scars or an uh, army that's flexible, they have a lot yeah. of good value. We're going to suppression it, but it hasn't fired yet. First two, just in case I do a lot of really good damage, I want to slip somewhere else. You got four armor saves. Hey! Fail one six. Next ones. Three old ones because it's even Prince. Got three more armor saves. All right, we're good. Cool. So one suppressor did take a win. Yep. All right, so now that they're deployed and the rhino's dead. Yep. All right, so then these suppressors can all see them as well. So we're just going to go ahead and put our shots there. Naturally. Uh, just two hits, but Gullman... Gullman be with you? Gullman be with me. So five hits. Wounding on threes, re-rolling ones. Looks like five AP three on these noise marines. Five of them bolts. Okay. Lose three. So, see how many more of these. Take the one sonic blaster, but it's still in range. Go ahead and shoot on those dudes again. 
Two hits. Two wounds. Two saves, three of farmers. Yeah. I do fail ah. both, so we're gonna kill this guy bump the wound over. On a four up, he's gonna fire on death. He does fire, he's gonna shoot the noise marines. Okay. Gullman. I'm hit. Hey. One AP3. Five up. Got another one. Got another one. So, so that's free dead so far. Just so that the chat's aware here. My suppressors shot noise marines, killed three of them. They fired back, killed the suppressor. The suppressor died, fired back, killed another noise marine. Yep, and I still got the two over here now. They're gonna just go ahead and shoot on the suppressors. Yeah. The only thing that'd be better is I was shooting a wolf in combat. Right. Got one armor save. One armor save on on that uh lane for the the Cena suppressors. The one's closest the to the one me. that I've not shot. Yes. Okay, one armor save. I do make it. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and fire the ever two on that same unit. Hey! Four hits. And then three more saves on the ever suppressor unit. Sunblind for the free call deal. Right now, we're offering a special for the month of July. If you sign up for the War Room, which I'll link in the chat here, you get access to all the wonderful things the War Room has to offer. All of our expert coaches, six classes per week, a weekly strategy session, and a weekly coaching stream match. Uh, additionally, in the month of July, when you sign up, you get a free call with that. So when you do sign up for the War Room, we will contact you uh, probably by today or tomorrow and organize which coach and when you'd like to set up that call. It is free of charge, of course, along with your warm subscription in the month of July. Mark, there's some excitement for world leaders in the chat. When world do you think leaders. Play them again? So I'm going to have them on the war room this coming up week. Me testing out there, but we're, I'm working on the list still. Like, there's so many different ways I can play the world leaders now, and there's things I'm thinking about how to play them. We played the test game between me and Nick, and there's some really strong objective controlling war control on them, and I just got to play around with it a little bit more. AP3. AP3. I'm done. Cool. Yeah. Alright, so the first volley of the Scorpius was able to clear out that five man noise marine unit. Yep, yep. So there are still two noise marines left. I did take the kill more secondary, so I'm tempted to try to kill those last two guys. The Pride don't just pick up two and tie for tie you for it. <laughs> yeah, here's a question. Um when those are the two blastmasters, mm -hmm. if they die to morale, they do don't they, get a shoot. Um, they don't get a shoot. Morale. So he would probably lose one to morale, and then he would just have one noise marine left. Which... They currently it's going to be D six minus one for the morale because they're leadership nine because the apostle. And he lost eight. Yes. So if you roll a one, you auto pass. If you roll anything else, you lose. Uh, if I roll a two, I think I'm good too. No. Eight. No. Yeah. All right. yep, so yep. you auto. So you pass on a one still. Yep, yep. Um. Or I could start chipping on um, uh, one of these disco lords. I think I'm going to start chipping on that warlord disco, disco okay. lord. Okay. Um, the other thing I could try to do is try to uh, thin down that Rhino. Yep. But the Rhino doesn't have a 5-up invuln right now, does it? Yes, it does. It's touching tip 6 inches. Alright, so it's just at 6. So it does have a 5-up invuln. Uh, thanks. So... Emil Home, yes, you do have to deploy your units completely within 3 inches, not wholly within 3 inches when you're disembarking. I'm not sure if Mark did that or not. Yes, I was wholly within 3. I'm okay. not sure of that. But uh, that is how it plays now. Good call. Nope. Only ten wounds on it right now. Yeah. I have to slow you down, but I think they're getting out this turn. I think we're gonna um, let that noise marine take morale. Okay. Um, because if you're going for two kills, that means you're trying to kill. I don't know. It'll, it'll be tricky. Um, you'd have to spend a lot of command points because you have to do the rerolls at the beginning of the battle round, right? At the beginning of the battle for the real wounds. Yes. Yeah. That's instead of my prayer. Okay, so at least I'll have a point of heads up before that happens, so I don't feel like it's happening this turn. Well, it's not. So um, we're going to go ahead and shoot at that uh, Warlord Disco. I just want to thin him down. Yep, Number yep. of shots is just five. So, got three roll. Wounding on fours, and I do reroll these thanks to my Seal of Oath. So just four AP three on the Disco. Okay. Fives. I fail one. <laughs> All right. Well, should have shot a Rhino. Early. Alright, so he and he heals one wound a turn, so that yep. was essentially worthless. And I could, I'm gonna spend the, I'm gonna use his once per game or once per battle round uh reroll. Do I even take it? No, I actually don't even take it. <laughs> Never mind, folks. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna think about that Lord Discord on a later turn. Clearly. 
All right. Um, in that case, I think that will do it for my turn. Okay. Thanks so much for subscribing and Blackburn15. We really appreciate you. So leadership. I rolled the one. <laughs> that's that's the way, Brent. Classic Mark. <laughs> a rat. A rat. A rat. A rat. I feel goo. <laughs> da -na 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 -na. Yeah. You know what? If that's if that's how it goes, that's how it goes. <laughs> Okay. Strike SC2, thank you for four months of subscription. We really appreciate you. We'll get some more Astro Milan on that channel for you very shortly. So I got a sink here. So four fives in a row and then a one. Perfect. All right. It's Ugh. the way. It's the way, guys. All right. You know so this what? cultist unit is going to advance. That's tactics right there. Going back there. It's going to be it's eight inches. Enough to get oh, this objective because minus two because the crater. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mark, we have a fan favorite. Punk Fox's girlfriend says she loves your pink rhinos, and real men Thank ride you. in pink rhinos. I, I do love the pink rhinos. I do like the pink rhinos. I gotta finish up a little bit more work on them. I want more, but like that's just because I like the pink rhino half and half. It's like, do I need free? No. Right, but do so I want free? Yes. Colts is coming out here, making a little bit of a screen. Yep. Very then nice. this unit is just gonna go ahead and move forward because they're gonna also be a screen. Mm -hmm. And I imagine that they're planning on not being there. Pretty soon. I. All right, and then what we are going to do is we're going to get this unit out. Okay. Do, 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 do. Trying to get them out. Star noise marines. Star noise marines. So, so what is your logic here, Mark? You're thinking you're going to step in the middle to try to shoot me, or are you going to try to just cut it at a weird angle to... I'm just going to take it in the front because you have the Scorpius. I need to... If Mark, you're gonna the chat me. has pointed out your cultists are not in coherency. Oh, yes, that's true. Yeah. Getting used to the new rules, yeah. everybody. Sorry about that. Thanks for pointing it out, guys. Pull the chef. All right, bam there. Let's see what the orange Disco Lord rolls for an advanced roll. It's going to be a free 15. It's going to be... Objectives Six. are supposed to be simply just not under terrain. Uh, and if you, these are the objectives are not actually the size of the entire objective mat. It's just Six that the objective my base will be right here. is the small 40 mil it's base right in the center of the things. The mats just make it easier for you to visualize it because if you're touching the mat, you are within three of the 40 mil base in the middle of it. That's something we do from we get from 3D6 Wargaming. And if you want objective mats just like that with whatever logos or the war logos you want, you can get them there. Mm -hmm. Let me think about not doing that one. I'm not going to do that one. I want to keep that one back here. Okay. We're going to advance this guy. Oh He's God. just going the 12 and 6. Demon Prince goes right here. Where is 6 inches right there? Okay. Let me figure out where these Blastmasters will be best placed is right here. Mm hmm. <clears throat> right now let's start moving six inches okay um all right so let's see we've got mark's moving this noise marine unit up it looks like he only has like really one noise marine unit to shoot at me other than this little two man that's unfortunately still there however when you consider some of the stratagems that mark can put into uh, them, he can give them veterans the long war and then shoot them twice. He could do a very significant amount of damage with this. So even though there, I'm, I'm very glad that I was able to take that uh, ten man and whittle it down as much as I as much as I was able to. Oh, but great. it's still quite dangerous. Yes. So let's go ahead and go into some psychic face. Okay. We're gonna press the this unit. We got it off on a seven. Okay. And it uh, looks like Mark is pretty out of, well out of my deny range. So yep. we're not worried about that yet. So I'm going to go into the shooting phase. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to give the these guys plus one strength and damage, one CP. Yep. We're going to also give them vets. Okay. And that's going to be it for that part. It's a good amount right there. I expect yes. to lose some aggressors. So we're going to take the Sonic Blasters, put them, or the Blast Masters, and put them over there. Okay. I'm going to put the high volume shots over there. Okay. Um, then we're gonna put the eight sonic blasters. Where is here. over there, Mark? Into these five intercessors. Yes. And we're gonna put three sonic blasters here, okay. and then the five sonic blasters here. Okay. So the two blast masters over there. 
Number of shots. It's going to be nine. All right. So hitting on... Two's real ones because they're assaults when you choose this weapon platform. Oh, interesting. So they're D6 shots. What's their profile, Mark? Strength. Now five, minus one, ignore cover, two damage. Hmm. Demon Prince. Twos. You got six saves. Six saves at AP1? Yep. Two All right. damage. Two damage. So I do fail five of the six. Oh, that's great. Oh my goodness. So I got to think about a command point here, folks. Because if I'm able to keep one of them alive, that means they'll be on that objective. I'm going to... I don't really like this. I was really hoping to not Is Nick roll rolling here? terribly. <laughs> Um, but we're going to command point it. I'd be rolling worse than this. this and I do nothing. still, still fail it. it. And I still fail it. Great with me. Six out of seven four up saves. That was bad. All right. So. Oh, boy. Let's put three sonic blasters on that unit of suppressors. Yep. Two's rolling ones. And then fours. You got a good old seven saves. Okay. These are AP dash. AP dash. Just basic armor saves. Two damage. All right, I do fail all of them, and that unit's dead, so they're gonna fire on death. Yep, yep. Uh, actually, you finish the you finish your shooting attack. Okay. And then I'll roll. Then you get that. So I need three more dice, please. And this is onto the other unit's pressures. Two rolling ones. And then fours. Yeah, 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 yeah. This many on the suppressors. All right, AP dash. Uh, nope, whole squad. Okay. okay. Holy God. Um, Can we just recap what happened here for the audience? Yeah, sure. So, <laughs> uh, this unit split fire and shot at this unit over here of intercessors. And Mark made me take six saves, and I used a command point and still failed five of my uh, armor saves to lose the whole squad. Then he shot at this suppressor unit, and I failed... Uh, what? I failed three out of five three-up saves to lose the squad. And then he fired at this unit, and I failed you had seven three saves. out of... I failed five out of seven, which I only needed to fail three. Three-up saves to lose that whole suppressor squad. Yep. So I just failed, like, 80% saves on three-ups against two damage weapons targeting my Primaris. Just remind us what strats you were using there, Mark, to make two so difficult. <sighs> so what I did was there's a... I used Veteran of the Long War. It's my bread and bubber. Bubber. Lol. <laughs> and then I also used the Emperor's Children stratagem for Sonic Blasters and Blast Masters and the um and I forgot the little uh little shoulder mounted flamer. Uh give them plus one strength and damage for one CP. So it's very good at killing intercessor marines or primary marines yeah, more. Like I thought like three of armor saves were gonna do something. I mean, they generally do. The salt brings tears yeah, of joy to my face. Right, so we're gonna so everything just died. So yep. these two guys on death. They will both fire. Okay. Emperor's Vengeance. First one is going to target this two-man. This two-man right there? Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, I would want to kill him. Who thinks we need a John Salt emoji? Two hits. Zero ones. Two, what? One six up. One six up. we we'll lose a dude. All right. Um, both of them are still alive. They're within three inches there, so I can't shoot them because of character yeah. creator. So both of them three of the scorpions. We're just going to put sick, the uh, Blastmaster onto here yeah. with... We'll do the high damage. This suppressor is also shooting them, so let me just... Okay. Uh, one shot, one hit. No wounds. Okay. Two more six-ups. Two more six-ups. Come on, little guy. All right. Go. So we finished off that noise marine unit with the, the small suppressor squad that died. Yep. Uh, we're going to shoot him now into... Hey, shooting any of those characters. The dude who I just, the dude who just died, doesn't he dudes? get to shoot? So he's going to oh, shoot a pistol. Meow. Meow. Did. I'm sorry, Nick. What was your question? I was just checking to make sure Mark was shooting with the guys who died when you shot when you died. Yes, yes. yes. He killed my suppressors. My suppressors fired on death, wiped out the two man noise marines. Now this three man squad. Yep. Uh, two of them will fire. We're gonna put uh, both volley, both shots um, into the noise marines here. Yes. Um. Oop. Literally zero hits. Golem in. Two hits. No uh, okay. Zero wounds. Back to you, Mark. Okay. Well, let's do the time warp again. Um, well, first let me shoot this bell flamer, see if it's in range. Of this guy. It isn't in range. It's an assault weapon. It is an assault weapon. That's cool. Four. E fives. Four wounds on the impulsor. 
<laughs> Minus two, two damage. All right, it takes four, four. damage. That's cool. That was D6 shots wounding on fives. And he, well, he just rolled four out of four five ups, which is the yeah. same thing he did on his saves when I shot that same guy. That guy is liking this life. Someone pour out some Nyx alt emojis since we don't so have So we're spinning yet. in the shooting what phase. <laughs> we're shooting this unit again. Yeah, that's fine. And they're shooting every single into the aggressors. Yeah, no, I'm not really surprised All about right, that. All right, so the Blastmasters are blast weapons. So I'm going to get six right. shots on the big volume. Um, It's minimum free. It's a D3. Okay. So these are free rolling ones. Okay. Twos. Um, three wounds at minus two. Three uh, wounds at D3 minus three. D3 plus one damage. All right. Um, what is the strength on this? Strength eight. Advance. Yeah, no, I was thinking you're transhuman. Eight. Um, what I'll is tell you probably wouldn't be best because that only wounded you. That's the difference of one. Mark, this one is damage. my last unit on the board. I'll be wounding you with the last master sonic masters anyway, of course. Well, they wound on three. No, three because you five. do have. Yeah, yeah that's true. Work. Okay, Transiver. you are doing it? Yeah, I, they need to be alive. So you got two, uh, negative two, uh, D3 plus one damage. Kill both. Did I roll? Please. That's two damage. Okay, wounded. Um, then the next one is dead. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to need dice. My dice have been slowly kidnapped away. Well, Mark, while you're 24. counting out your dice, I got a couple questions. All right. What do you think is a bad match for these noise marines? Um, anything that's... Anything that has a lot of bodies that's decently durable, not crazy durable. Um, also, lots of indirect. Uh, I need six more dice, five more dice. There you go. And uh, most anything that can just out, uh, that can be very durable, that's indirect, are things that don't have to exist on the eject, like ejectives. Things that can actually kill me very efficiently without me being able to shoot with them or push them off of ejectives. What about the counter? The town R, I don't, I don't know. No one knows what the town R. It's just the town R. Town R is a bad match for everybody. This thing's broken. All right, this many saves. Okay, three up saves here. I need yep. I'm not gonna say what I need because otherwise, I... Uh, I three more die. Three more die, so that brings you down to two left. Yeah. That's um, cool. I like sergeant. it. That's not the best thing. All right, four die. Um, they can all see, so we're gonna see if they fire. Yep, yep. Um, one of them does. Where's the banner? Oh, it's right there. Right there. Gotcha. It's a nine inch aura of units because I upgraded it. Yep, yep. Um, so it's not six inches anymore. Um, it, he only fires one weapon on death. Yep. So I will choose his the six high shot. volumes. Yeah. Um, kill him and save me. Uh, one extra fours. Uh, just four eighty dash. Yep, we lose one. We'll shoot back at you. Might as well. Hey! All hits. Hey! Uh, one wound. One. Yep. Made it. Cool. Yep. All right. Well. Let me try to here. That was impressive. Yeah, I uh, wasn't expecting it to do that much. You got leaderships? Uh, no, I'm leadership you're plus like, one, like nine, I'm plus actually? one for I'm leadership ten right now. Yeah, I'm leadership eleven right now. Yeah, can't um, fail. Yeah. Well, part you missed Mark's amazing turn one. Just everything. He killed the aggressors, the suppressors, the other suppressors, and some intercessors. Was an absolutely devastating turn one. But I don't want to call John out just yet. He still has the grab pod, and I have won games solely on the grab pod in the past. All right, so. Uh, I'll, you get 10 points on the primary. Yep. Losing um, this intercessor really... That really hurt, because that was the difference of five points. It, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, I, um, can I we did get a score recap here. from both players, please? We're We're doing that. Yes. Right. So, let me see here. I raised one banner. Um, I went ahead and nothing else ever mattered. Couldn't do that because they, they advanced. So that's the only action I took was raise a banner. Just with the... With the little dark disciples. Yep, I do hate that they can do that, to be clear. Yes. Um, all right, so... And you get 10 points on primary? My turn one. Um, so you killed one, two, three units. I also killed three units. So we, I did not get my attrition point. Right. Um... <laughs> Those guys dying was really, really frustrating. And um, engaged are the behind me lines I'm not getting yet. Yeah. I'm just taking happy with that primary. It was a pretty good damage for turn one. Yeah, it really was. And then... Uh, Lenny's? 
prayers. That's uh, yep. That's I'm gonna instead of doing my litany, I'm gonna reroll wounds. Because there's once per game relic for this yeah, battle round. So I need to kill all these guys for, right now. I'm gonna ask this from top to bottom. Command points, please. Um, I'm going up to seven. Okay. Mark is at three. John, you scored ten points for primary. That's correct. Um, okay. I did not get the uh, attrition equivalent. Grind them down. Okay. Did you get any secondaries? Uh, not yet. What was my third one? Scramblers. Well, we still we fight. You did scramblers. I did scramble, but I need to get all three of them yeah. to get the points. So at the moment, I have not. All right. Thank you. So have you gotten uh, you gotten the no man's lane one? And you got to get the behind me lane one in your own deployment zone, correct? Yep. So I still need to get my own deployment zone, which we'll kind of just get around to later. Probably the chapel a little bit, honestly. And then I'm, at some point, I'm going to have to get into Mark's deployment zone, which I thought I was going to have a little more concentrated push than what I currently have. Um, but that's okay. So uh -huh. this guy here, it's, I, I was expecting the suppressors to die. I just wasn't expecting it to happen that fast. I thought it was going to like take genuine effort. All right. So I'm going to telling people. I no, I, it's, I did the math on it. I know what they did. It's just didn't work out how I thought it would. I think so, every turn of every game, I say I did the math. That doesn't matter right, in this house. So what I'm doing is moving these aggressors so that they're in line of sight of exactly that one. Oh. Okay. My chaplain chance, I'm sorry. Um, plus one to wound, closest unit will go on the Scorpius. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then plus two to charge. Okay. It does go off. So I got my chaplain lit litanies. That's cool. All right, so both aggressors have line of sight to exactly that one dude. Yep, yep. I'm doing that because uh, I'm intending to not put anything in line of sight of those... Um, noise Marines. Noise Marines, those uh, big old jerks over there. And the goal is really just to make sure that I can kill a decent number of them. I'm hoping two aggressors in Tactical Doctrine can do respectable work, and then whatever's left, I'm hoping the Scorpius can kill. Um, and really, I'm just trying to deny Mark as many targets with that Act on Death. I, I really can't take any casualties. You in can't my take own any more turn. casualties now. Um, and then the goal is to kind of make sure that um, I'm probably not going to bring in the grab pod this turn. I just want to keep Mark's reserves honest for a turn because once the grab pod comes in, he gets to commit everything. I think I'm going to screen with the little bit I have left, and then we're going to just kind of work from there. Yeah. So we're going to back up this impulsor just to touch the terrain. Impulsor will almost certainly die, but I'm just making sure that it is screening out so that nothing gets to arrive over here. Um, Blue. This guy has to move around the terrain. So you'd have to go for... You'd have to switch to warp time to even like get to charge me. Um, well, I could also bring in the grab pod and just nuke him and try to hide them right here. That would be the other play. Then I have to push out the impulsive screen a lot farther. Mark, so if you were to build a Death Guard and Emperor's Children list, how would you combine the two? So I would actually go mass infantry on that, taking like lots of plague rains, lots of noise rains. Oh, uh, they what? both have very good troops, and building around their obsec and their very durable and awkward bodies is a good combo. What kind of detachments? We talking probably a patrol battalion or a um, maybe dual battalion if the HQs need a little, bit, a little beefier if I could take more troops. Taking just 30 noise rings and just plugging them in with the Dark Disciple, a Rhino, and a Demon Prince, or Lucius, or something along those lines, is a pretty good good build out right there. Taking with the Mortarion's Chosen Son, your opponent's in a really awkward spot for uh, those two. I was talking about this last week, um, just a little bit, and just some of the house and so forth, and that would be an interesting and very foot list that would, people will have a hard time fighting over objective score, which is how this missions are won, really. Do, 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 do. All right, so. I'm excited for the mutilators next turn. I get to do mutilators. Me and me and me and mutilators. Right, I'm not gonna let them do anything too interesting. You can go blow up They're not, their there. job's not to do anything interesting. Their job just to be harassment. No, they will be harassing me. Um, all right, so we've got, I'm just, right, right now all I'm doing, folks, is making sure that I'm covering my screens up. Um, Actually, I could probably advance that librarian. Okay. And let's go a little bit further up here, try to hide and free that aggressor. And then I just need to make sure that I get Goleman up to do something cool. So Goleman will probably... Uh, can Goleman just take a mutilator charge? Maybe. We're going to find out. So he'll just be within three here, so he's not getting uh, targeted. Yeah. This guy's not a Blastmaster, he's an Ormstrom. That, that is a Blastmaster. The Underslung Orms are the Blastmasters. These are okay, the Blastmasters. there are more than... Yeah, so that Underslung, that Underslung, that... 
No, all the rest of them are two-handed. Okay. All right. So then, I guess I, that's the only I can't hide from anyone else. So you're gonna be able to see me with the one blast master. No, um, no, against Gilliam, and I can see you with two blast masters. No, no. The oh, for them? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we're gonna we're gonna change what we do with Gilliam. Also, this is no longer a three-man unit, so Gilliam is not protected right now. Correct. So we're gonna definitely not do that. So Gilliam will um, just like here. He was right at six from the corner, so he was there. Um, I think Gilliam is just going to. Uh, kind of swing up here and behind the wall. Just try not to get lit up by too many things because we really want to avoid having a dead Gulliman. The uh, Ancient is going to hop inside the transport. Yep, yep. And He's done his job. Yeah, you know, I hope it was enough. Um, and I think... So now I really just have to decide. I could either push this Impulsor out and drop the pod in, but I think that's going to leave my screens too thin, and I'm going to hold the pod in reserves. Okay. We're not going to have as dynamic of a turn on my end, and I'm hopeful that Mark will not do as much damage without committing a significant amount of his reserves. Um, we'll see if it works. So we're just going to go ahead and start off the psychic phase. The librarian will try to get me a command point. Yeah. Uh, pass on a seven. Pass. So I'm up to eight. And then we'll go ahead and give a Goleman, um What's the strength on mutilators? Uh, mutilators are strength five, goes to strength six. Sorry, their strength five goes plus D3. Strength very bad. Okay, so there's... Strength six minimum. Right, I'm toughness six normally, so you could get up to strength eight only on a on a three. On a three. Um, we'll go ahead and give Golem and uh, Mighty Heroes. Mighty Heroes. Which on a seven does pass. So okay. Golem's plus one strength attack toughness. Gotcha. Alrighty here. So let's get to the shooting. Uh, we're gonna put the aggressors into the Emperor's Children. Yeah. Noise Marines here. Alright. Uh, two D three. Um, yep. These are minimum three because you're blast. Okay. That's, uh, that's why we do it. That's why we do it. <laughs> why blasts are cool. Why blasts are cool. They're not great hits, but this is why we bring a Primark with us. Yep, yep. And help a little bit. And wounding on fours, these are AP1, and I'm rerolling ones to wound. Okay. That was no ones, so just seven AP1. Seven AP1? Seven AP1. Yeah. I want to lose five. Is that chaplain currently character locked or no? Uh, no, he's not. Okay. That's a mistake on my part. Yeah, so, I moved him away from the Scorpius. That's bad. Do you want to move him back then? Or um, how many guys can shoot was better? Him? All of them, practically almost. The two well, blastmasters, to... five sonic blasters. Hmm. Yeah, if you don't mind, I'll bump him next to the Scorpius. Okay. Thank you. No problem. These new character rules are going to take some getting used to. Mark is being quite a gentleman here. So, All right. So then, let me see here. What size base of mutilators are? Uh, 40s. Okay, we're good. Is he still within three inches now? Yes, move him up. before gotcha. I bump the scorpion. Yes. Okay. He may not be able to stop me then. All right, the chaplain cannot be as close as he wanted to. Got it. We're good. All right, so brain farts. All right, back to what I was doing. Let's see if you need the blast masters here can see. Can you tell me if you can see this guy from over there? I okay. don't think they can see any of the noise. Making sure. Right? It was just angle. I think this guy you can see, but it's far out of range. Way out of range. John, we got a couple questions for yes. you while Mark's figuring that out. Of course. What do you think so, of Vitrix Guard? I really like them. I think they're a great unit. Um, I didn't have any painted for this game. However, in the future, it's very likely that I would uh, use them again. And then right. also, do you think Guard is still playable without Vigilance Formations? Yes. Um, I didn't really use the Vigilance Formations that much. Really, it's just... I liked having the option to go full speed and double tap. Um, uh, to be fair, Mark, the aggressors are going to shoot twice if you don't pull that one model. Oh, so they have fire. I thought that was them firing. That Who was, was once. That? that was once. Okay. So, so pull the one guy in line. Pull of the sight. one guy, and that's a blast master. Yeah. Otherwise, you're taking the whole thing again. Yep. Yep. So, Gotta blast be nice. master will yep. shoot you. It's going to be big shots because it's a rise on that hurting you. Yeah. So three. Twos, all hits. Oh, they're still pressing. Rerolling wounds. Uh, you got two wounds. Okay. Minus two. Uh, do fail one. Uh, one damage. All right, so just wounds and aggressor. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And whenever you see your opponent making like a, a simple mistake like that, kind of how Mark let me take back a little chaplain snafu, 
Same thing, just you know, if, aware, he, if he doesn't do that, the aggressors are just going to shoot him again, but it's, yep. it's very obvious that Mark did not want to just lose the rest of the squad for no reason. All right, we're going to go ahead and put um, these intercessors into yeah. the cultists. Cultists, cultists. Yep, just 10 shots. Because good old ultramarines. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to spend one command point to give a unit reroll once. However, okay. since it's a troops unit, they'll reroll all of it. All of it. I just have a lot of command points right now. Um, nine hits. So I'm really just trying to uh, burn through these eight die. Eight die? Yeah. Okay. 82. So, so cover is not going to be a factor here. Okay. And then... Um, should I reroll one of those for the command point? I'm going to reroll one of the command points as well. Just try to make sure you can kill... Yeah, because if, if I kill nine of them, then... Kill okay. more. Then the other one is a very likely to run for morale, and then I don't need to charge him with aggressors. Yep, yep. And I don't want Mark on that objective, certainly. Okay, so we're good on that. So Scorpius uh, volley number one mm -hmm. is just going to go into those four guys, because they gotcha. don't have line of sight over anything, and I want as many dead noise marines as Naturally. I can possibly get. Uh, six shots. Relatively healthy. Yep, yep. No rerolls innately. So they are plus one to wound against the closest unit, which is the cultist, so that mm -hmm. does not matter. So just four AP3. Four AP3? Yep. Yeah! Uh, on the Scorpius? It's AP2. So AP2. AP2. So. You have a five of minimal anyway. Yep. Uh, no, I don't. I popped the reroll wounds. Oh, well, just AP2. My apologies. Yep. Boom. And then, because no one else is yep. in range, four our saves. Sites, four saves. Each roll, uh, three dice. Three dice. One more. I can call this enough one. All right, so they've lost nine now. And again, if Mark rolls another one on morale, that guy will still be alive. So I'm going to attempt fate here. I'm going to just kind of hope that Mark doesn't roll two ones on morale. Yeah. And we're going to go ahead and um, put this volley into that same Disco Lord that I'm rerolling hits and wounds against. Okay. Because um, I would rather... 48, yeah. I'd rather shoot with the rerolls. And... Because uh, uh, the chaplain gives the seal of health. Naturally. Um, just four shots. Threes, I'll hit fours. Fours. Uh, four fours. wounds, AP two, not three. So four ups. There we I go. I can reroll one of these. All Take right. six. Six damage. That makes me feel a lot better about that disc alert. Yep. Um, I think uh, this guy will shoot two strong bolters at you. Okay. Three hits. Uh, one AP one. One AP one. Tactical doctrine. Mm. Aha. On this guy? Aha! Got him down, so down to It's a big deal because now when he heals one and goes back up to six, that means he's still not going to be top bracket. Yep, yep. So getting them down to five wins instead of six is important. All right, so that will actually do it. All um, right. If I wanted to charge, I could do it now, but I'm not going That's to. just a worse position to be yeah, in. Yeah, I'm not going to elect to. I'm going to take um, at least one mutilator unit on the chin. We're going to have to work with it. Yep. So John, you score any let's go there? ahead and roll here. Or Mark. We're good. Uh, one second while we Died. finish this thing. All right, so both of those units Leadership died. Leadership nine dead. Okay. Um, uh, so no, they lost one during my turn. Yes, they lost. They lost so eight they lost casualties eight. plus two is ten. Your leadership ten. nine, you lose one. Model. Yep, yep. Making sure. Yeah. Boom. Um, yeah, a one would have passed, but the one ought to pass anyway. Yep, yep. Um, all right. Sorry. Back to Nick. So I got ten points on primary that turn. Yep. Uh, for my secondaries, um, I did not. Um, do the uh, I didn't I still need to get to Mark's deployment zone so I don't get any for scramblers yet. Um, I have things alive at the end of the game is not in yet, and we'll see how many kills Mark gets on his turn. Yeah, about grind them. I was that what that is. That's that's the uh, this, yeah, yeah, oh, that is now they changed, uh, the, name attrition. Attrition. They changed yeah. the name of attrition and made it harder to get. Mark, how many primary points are you looking at? I'm only going to be getting five because he knocked me off of some, which is fine because I couldn't get to as many as I wanted to. And so you're is, how many command points now? I'm going to be going up to four. Thank you. Boom. What is are, are you scoring any banners, Mark? That's the banner. I get one banner point. To tap. Okay. So Mark's just hopping nice and easy onto that objective. Yep. Mark, can you explain if the mutilators are for fun choice or are they actually competitive? They're actually competitive, but they have a very they're they're there for the guerrilla warfare and the uh harassment. And the fact that they're really cheap for their stats. Like, I'm just looking at them with a fresh light. They have very good stats for what they are um, at a very good point cost. So, going there. We're going to go next. We're going to just go ahead and advance. 
So it's free, so it goes nine. Alright, so we've got do. a very angry Lord Discordant who's probably just gonna flame my aggressor again because he's yep. very rude. But you gotta do what's do what you gotta do. have to deal with that Lord Discordant soon. Unfortunately, I've just been trying to. I've killed 25 Noise Marines so far. I'm not mad about that. I was just kind of hoping to have more aggressors left. Really Most people it. would. Yeah. That's okay. All right. We're gonna we're gonna just have to work with that. So let's think here where. So, so we raise the banner here. The Dark Disciples are gonna, uh, uh in, not the um, Scramblers, go ahead and get my backfield. Oh, and you then they'll work forward. Too. Yes. So they'll go ahead and do that. That action since the banner has been raised. Yep. And then, let's think here. They gotta be out in the no man's land. We'll probably save for another units. Because we can only do one Scramblers per turn. That's not true. You can do, you can do multiple. You can do all three in one turn. Okay, did not know that. Yep. If you didn't screen out your deployment zone, I could have dropped pot and done scouts here, impulsor yep. hop there, like librarian there, and just gotten one, two, three scramble points. Yep. That's actually why I took it with this list. I wanted to kind of try out that option. Right. I'm just um, making sure that you can't come back here for Yeah, but tricks. now I'm not willing to probably push that deep into you because right. of how other things have gone. Right. All right. So thanks so much for subscribing for three months in here. a row, Vic. Very much appreciated. Making sure Demon Prince, do they need to move? Do these guys need to move? Not really. Um. What I can do is think about that 10 million noise rain units mm -hmm. can come. They can honestly come off right here off of this board edge and then move this guy this way to get the big guns here on those dudes. Yep, you definitely could do that. Probably is a good play. How many models do you have on this objective? None. So that's fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um. So I think that may be a good play. I'm not sure, though. Let me see. So the first thing, these mutilators are gonna go down here. They got a job to do. Yeah, they're probably gonna go run those intercessors off the board. Yeah, that's their that's what they want to do. Do you care the all specs gaming? Genuinely tempting. Um what is the defensive stats of a mutilator? Uh they're free wounds each. They got a two upon say five minimum. They are touching the terrain now for the plus one. And probably only a few of your dudes can see them. Yeah, we're gonna pass on that. Okay. It's tempting, truly. But uh, <laughs> we're, we're gonna pass. Mark, are you gonna vex that off specs game? Well, I would have to use it, uh we're being conservative here. All right. And then we're going to take this other unit of emulators. Oh, you're bringing two in at once. Because honestly, they can go over here. Mm -hmm. Let's touch this piece. Yep. It's going to be very difficult for me to deal with them. Yep. yep. Um, I'm going to roll 11 if they want to get there. So they can go. Remember that the minus, minus two. two. So you need to. So I'm trying to see if I can get within 10 inches and touch terrain, but no. The impulsor does have minus two to charge. Yes. That's why I was sitting there like rolling him. Rolling an 11. Um, no, we're just going to play it safe mm -hmm. and touch some terrain. Makes sense to me. Screen out some more. And then. John, could you just explain how Scramblers works for the, strat for the chat? Absolutely. So Scramblers is a new secondary in the GT pack. In order to complete Scramblers, it's you have to do an action in your opponent's deployment zone, your own deployment zone, and in no man's land while being farther than six inches from either deployment zone. If you do all three of those, you complete completed scramblers and you get 12 points. Yep. So all that, that means is that um, it's 12 or nothing, but it's relatively easy to get for a lot of armies because you don't have to be on an objective. You just have to complete an action of put a scrambler down just in the deployment zone. So you just have to get an infantry unit in your opponent's of deployment zone and then uh perform an action and you're good something like scouts in a drop pod is very good for that um i may not use them for that purpose in this game just because of uh how things have developed but i still could take it take a stab at it all right so checking there the mutilators are going to uh scrambler that's the no man zone okay uh scrambled here yep and then Mark's gonna have to scramble my. Sinking. If I want to just go ahead and place point. an objective here, uh, place a five main noise ring there, I can start raising a banner there, which I think is a good idea. Okay. And uh, just have some extra firepower to make it awkward for John to put on anything there. Yep, because then I have to worry about him firing on death. Yes. It's always a, the trouble with uh, dealing with noise marines. They're very tricksy like that. They are very tricksy. But uh, when you arrive from reserves, you can place a. Uh, you can perform an action. Yep. So they're not going to shoot. They're just going over here to raise yep. a banner. Um, 
I, mean, I think they did their job there and lead the Everton man off because next turn I my can come pod. off of I can go into his deployment zone. Yep, and I have um, to uh, keep my pod. Uh, yeah. I can actually come off. I can actually come off of this board edge because it's off of any board edge, and that's mm -hmm. John's main board edge. Yep. So I can show up behind here, get more angles. Yep. So since he's probably killing this intercessor unit with mutilators, I'm gonna probably have some have a tough time dealing with that. Exactly. So thinking now, if this is a random disco. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably just best to keep him back. That, that means he's all, the grab squad, wherever it comes down to, goes over here, he can go start scoring objectives. Okay. So, psychic phase is going to be not worth any perils. All right. Um, Vin, Very sorry, banner work. raised. Mm -hmm. So, Plop. he's now raised two banners, which is annoying because, uh, you know, not only do I have to kill that noise marine unit, I would really like to kill it and also put something else there. Yep. So that it's no longer marked objective. All right. And then not shooting there. We can shoot with this rhino, but it advanced, so it's not shooting. That flamer is going to shoot onto that. Do you want to pop smoke on the rhino? Um, I can't pop smoke on the rhino. I will pop smoke. Sir. Nicholas, thanks so much for raiding us. We have a party of 59 joining the chat. Thank you so much. Woo! Thank you. Awesome. All right. Um, then we're just going to do that flamer disco over there. Number of shots. Three. All right, it means I'm not dead. Okay, and you've already reroll. Is it a reroll per battle round? Battle round. All right, so you've already used it on the save. So just one save on the impulsor. Uh, that impulsor He's clutches good. it. He's still there. All right. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm gonna do next. So I'm just gonna do charging over there. These mutilators over there. All right, we're not spending a command point. Oh, Ooh. that's a two CP now investment. So let's try to reroll that charge. Oh man, so Mark needs to get at least one three here. And then oh, we don't he just even make it on the 11. Cool. All right, never mind. I didn't need um, the honor of the prince. <laughs> I felt that, good. That was my hopes and dreams. Hard 11, too strong. Also, thanks so much for subscribing. To another Gifting another tier one sub, Tim. Much appreciated. All right, so let's find out how deadly these mutilators are. I don't expect to have any intercessors left at the end of this, but it would also make me feel a little if better. If I rolled if I a did. two damage, there's a chance, but probably you're going to have intercessors left. You're oh, you know what? Like, if, I think so. If John has intercessors left, he's going to be in a better mood. Um, so let me sink here. I believe. I want to save that free CP, so we're not doing anything there. So strength, going to be seven. Okay. AP, two, damage, three. Yeah, it's not we need a close up on these mutilators. Get that gimbal going. Yep. So. I would like to point out that those mutilators are smaller than the intercessors. Well, mutilators are bad and they're small. How many middles. attacks are they? Four oh. attacks each. Ooh. Three depths of the false emperors. Those were some good hit rolls, my friend. They were. I could have vets, but I decided not to. I should have vets. Got a vets. Oh. Uh, right. No, no, that wouldn't help with that many ones. All this two's, minus two. Two's don't wound. Two's, two's don't wound. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you had two twos. I had two twos. Yep. AP was two. AP was two. So I've got a five up save here. I lose two pretty intercessors. Lose two See, John can roll well also. You this game what? is average. That's that makes me feel significantly better. It's not like he lost the five. Like he lost we five. also have a dice bet suggestion. Ooh, let's hear it. The loser of the dice bet must do the truffle shuffle on camera. We can do what that. What does that mean? You don't know what the truffle shuffle is? I don't. Is Mark gonna do it to show me and then ruin the point of the dice no. bet? No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna Google it. The, I um, think they both agreed to that. That's our like agreement. Fist is swinging back on you. Yeah. Um, oh, one, one hit. One hit. You're not within 12 gold. Um, assume you're not. I... Five of them fail. How many ones are you? Three. Nice. Yes. Power fist punched out a mutilator. Yeah, they did. There we go. All right. And then, um, two normal dudes. Yeah. Um, five hits. Still intact to the doctor, so these are not particularly good, but four, four wounds. wounds. Your toughness Three ups? Yeah. Oh. Take two. We're not the updated uh, obliterator sheet. Do you not have two up saves? I have two up saves. You have minus one. I do not. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Tactical doctor. Frame fart. I no take. problem. Take one win. <laughs> so the real question is, do I fight twice here? The answer is no. <laughs> but like, what if? What if? Okay. We're good? Yeah. All so right. at the end of my turn, I get... Um, you got one raise the banners. I scrambled two objectives. We scrambled two of them. So we still have to wait for you to get this back one here. Yep. And I have to do the same. And then, um, did you scramble anything? I've scrambled so far. I've only scrambled in the midfield. I've right. not scrambled yours or mine. Okay, because it's resolved at the end of the phase, correct? 
Yeah, so like that unit might just fall back and scramble. Yes. Um, <laughs> or the, the chaplain might scramble. Oh, uh, you can't fall back and do an action. That's fair. I'll spend a command point. Actually, no, I can alter means I just fall back and shoot. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go? Yeah. All right, folks. So your turn, you're going to get five There's points. There's still points. hope. There's 10 points on primary for John, but Mark has um, finagled himself onto multiple objectives here. So multiple from top objectives. to bottom, what is the CP count at? Um, I'm going up to seven. And Mark, and Mark is, a... is a down to three. Didn't, uh... didn't spend too much there, uh, just just to reroll the charge on the muties, the mutilators. Did you get grind them down, John? Um, I did. So that's yes. two points there. Yes. And so I get three points on grind them down. That's gonna be it. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Because the rest of mine is uh waiting. I know that my grab pod's coming in this turn, so I've got to think. Well, I'm gonna take a little uh perusement over on uh, Mr. Perry's side of the mm -hmm. board. I'm, uh, I'm gonna guess that I'm you should specifically here. Yeah. So this is where I need to be to see you. Mm-hmm. So I dropped there. Uh let's check there. Subtle was zoned out when it was placing it, but you maybe will get you, one or two. If you could have like fudged over, like, yeah. Fudge more I thought it was when I was declaring it. That's my bad. Yeah, if that was your plan, then. Yep. Green for it. Well, definitely, you looked like you were casting up in the corner specifically because there was a grab pod. Yep. <laughs> I probably should have rotated his staff on the other side there for it to shift in there yeah, better. It's been around. I mean, you had like 15 inches of movement. So yep. like he was doing much. We so have a question from Siegs for the chat. And have you ever shown there. the Goonies to a class while instead of? And then that's like the straight people. line. You can't do it. You're good. Okay. Siegs says. Can I shoot the demon prince? Oh, uh, that's what I'm checking right now for you. Negative. No shooting the demon prince? Nope. Well, that's just depressing. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, I could... Could I not just put the Scorpius into the demon prince? No, because the Disco Lord cut oh, the yeah, blocks for a, them. Oh, yeah, he's a big monster. Yes. That's right. That Disco Lord is blocking. He's uh, blocking for all those characters, which is why he's still back there. It's amusing, I'll admit, but also just depressing. All right, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to fall back with this unit of Ultramarines just mm -hmm. one inch away. I'm going to spend one command point. This unit can now fall back and charge, and yep. I do not take the minus one penalty for being ultimate, for ultimate fallback. Basically, my goal is to shoot into the mutilators, try to kill one more, charge in, try to power fist the last guy. Yep. Um, so now I need to think. Um, there's one guy up top here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I just bopped That is rest, the Blastmaster. Of course it is. Still, I'd rather <laughs> get shot by one Blastmaster than everyone else. So I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is I'm going to bop... Um, I'm going to have to advance, which isn't really great. But I could put the aggressors in line inside of just the one Blastmaster and then uh, shoot both aggressors into that unit, try to clear them off. Um, or I can just charge a Gullum around the corner. Well, let's actually, um, let's do my Chapel Chance first. Okay. Plus one to wound on the Scorpius. Yep. Um, passes on a four, plus two to charge. Yep. Wise order. Passes. Okay. So I still have options here, folks. It's not easy. But uh, we've got options. So my game plan here, I need to kill everything in front of me with a small amount of units. Yep, yep. I didn't see no flaw with this plan. Um, I'm thinking that I might put the pod here so that I can maybe shoot the grab at these uh, here. Maybe double tap the Scorpius into this guy because he's marked. I'm hoping I can kill him. And then um, if all of that goes to plan, then perhaps I can uh, do some more stuff. So I might just use the pod to block the center to make sure that a Lord Discordant doesn't come crashing through here. Because <laughs> I don't need to go through that point. I don't need to get any closer to that than I am. So can we draw out your deployment zone, Mark? Yes. I just want to see where I could put my scouts if I was going to try to go for this uh, scramble play. How far up is it now? It's 20 from the long and uh, 15 from the short. Okay. Right here. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. So what I would need to do, so I could put the pod like here, get the scouts out in your deployment zone there, get the devastators out here about. Problem is the, the rhinos there. Okay, so I won't be able to fit there. So let me just kind of walk around and see where I might be able to go. Um, Not a ton of great options, unfortunately. Mark has just enough stuff to be really annoying about it. Because I don't want to give him an easy drop pod to latch onto with a Disco Lord, because the Disco Lord can charge it, swing with not Bad all of its combat. weapons. Yep. It has to swing with one of its close combat weapons, but it has six, and it'll just choose to make all of its attacks with the crappy one. Exactly. Like the damage one, and he he won't do the reroll stuff, and then he'll kill me in my turn. So he can't choose his basic close combat weapon, so he could kill the pod, but it's still 
A Disco Lord that's not trying is still not likely to because he has so many different weapons to select. So maybe I do the more conservative play and I go back here. Or I just Impulsor Hop the Ancient into the Plemon Zone and he dies. But he gets me 12 points on Scramblers. You could do that. I mean, he would die, but like... He would you gotta do it 12. twice. You Scramblers is only 10 points. Yeah. I thought it was 12. I no. just checked it. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> and if that's what the rules say, then I don't have a good counter argument. <laughs> it's, is it uh, 10 if you max it out, correct? If you do it turn, three turns? Or is that the other one I'm seeing? No, maybe. So many new secondaries that Chilis Roman think about. They seriously are. And they're so hard to think about. Um, Indeed. And Mark still... Scramblers is zero points or ten points. You get all ten if you do all three zones, or zero if you fall short. Okay. All right, so I need to think about here how I'm going to... Uh... We can't go through this, right? No. Okay. So I really just need to make sure that if I bring the pot in here, I need to push this screen up to ensure that Mark isn't putting the last noise marine in here and just blowing my grab away. Because my grab is very important to me. I really would like it to stay alive. Um, so let me just, this might, this turn might take me a moment because I have to decide on the grab, the best landing spot for it. I think it's going to come down in this vicinity so that I can kill this mutilator squad and then I'm going to hope that this combined firepower can take care of those. And then I just have to deal with that last 10 man uh, noise marine squad. So, Emperor's Children, do they have a stratagem to Hercule or main? Yes, on characters for six inches. Yeah, so, so not for units. I just need to kill him. He's a Night Lord, so he's not an Emperor's Children. Great point. The units cannot? The units cannot. Okay. So what I think, if I put them... So basically, he has to deploy nine inches from the pod. So with mm -hmm. a 24 inch gun, I just have to be 20... Uh, 24 inches from your nine from the pod. Yep. It means the width of the pod needs to add up to 15 inches away. So if I put them about 12 inches from the other side of the pod, he won't be able to get in range. He does still have the Blast Masters, but it, if Mark does that, then he would only... That would be the only thing he can uh, shoot. He would only shoot the Blast Masters. The rest of the, the eight other shots would only be going at a drop pod right. if he chose to shoot it, which is not an efficient use of Mark's firepower, so I might be willing to accept that. So I think what we're going to do is... Let's see... The grab pod is advanced. an incredibly powerful tool, but it's also a huge liability it since is. it can't fall back sure. at all. Yeah. Wherever it goes, I need to make sure that Goleman is in counter charge range of it to go clean out whatever pesky chaos units try to rumble over there. Usually when Space Marine players deploy a grab pod against a competent player of a high caliber, they need to be very particular about it, so John might have to take his time here, as you can see. Definitely have to take my time here. So, so I just go to one way left. there. With nine inches, yeah, that puts you that's your deployment yeah, zone. Yeah, you got that. So let's start with that. Then just need to be within 24 here. I think I've got this part screened out. And how many of these noise marines can see these intercessors? Probably like two or three. Two. Gotcha. If I just move here. Is this not a problem? Blastmaster, maybe we'll see. You confirm for Probably six? not. All right, so right now I'm screening out pretty far here. Got this whole thing, because you'd have to go behind that terrain piece where we wouldn't be able to see anything. Um, these big walls mean that that side of the table is not nearly as bad for me. So I think um, I put the pod here. Mark could come out here and would still get to shoot at me. We got a great question from the chat. Can you use Desperate okay. Breakout Stratagem to destroy your own drop pod? I believe the answer is no, only because you have to be able to do a fallback action to attempt Desperate Breakout. Yeah. Since that drop pods have a movement characteristic of dash, I don't think they can move, can't attempt to fallback. This is definitely something that they should probably FAQ, but I also haven't think it's gotten to it. Their rules saying that they can't do like pylons, consolidates, they cannot move for any purpose. So. Yeah. We don't know with 100% certainty, but I, I, the gray area that it falls in, I would lead towards no, is my personal ruling. So I put the grav unit right cornered here, and you outflank right there, only the blast masters, whatever, okay. show me. Um, this guy is wounded, here we go. So we just need to make incredibly extra sure that this disco lord is not there. And he, he's definitely going to do the action, so... I'm just setting the pod down and kind of where I'm thinking now because I still have to move the aggressors and yep, yep. uh, Goleman. Um, I could just walk through the wall 
and that would just see all of the noise marines. I think we're just gonna do that. Okay. You can shoot me with them. One of them's taking damage, correct? One of them does have a wound on him. Okay. Do I have to kill the, um, because I can see the top guy, I'm sure. And if I have to put the second shot into the rhino, the second shot into the rhino. Um, okay. Very interesting choices that I'm having to make here. Mark definitely knocked me on my butt on that, uh, his turn one shooting, but I still feel like I'm in the game. Uh, we're trying to, we're desperately trying to claw our way back on this one. So I just need to make sure that the scouts come out there. And then that will also screen off here, that screens there, that screens that. Hopefully that takes care of that problem. And then uh, you're only deny the witches on that. On uh, the demon friends. Okay. So I think the librarian um, is going to stay behind the wall. I really just don't want to get lit up unnecessarily by noise marines. I imagine the noise marines are going to delete those aggressors if they're still there. And then um, Goleman himself. Uh, as tempting as it is, I think he's going to hold. He's going to hold more steady. Again, just be behind this wall so that Mark either comes on this side, at which point he's not shooting Goleman with anything besides Blastmasters. Now Blastmasters are going to hurt. But I'm hoping that does not solo Goleman. Two Blastmasters, if they just solo Goleman, I'm sad. Are you worried about the librarian not having third effect? No, because nothing can really see him right now. And anything that can see him can also see Goleman. And if he's shooting the librarian instead of Goleman, I'm less concerned about that. Librarian's not actually that important. He's just nice to have. Um, all right, so we're going to put the pod here. So this is your closest point. 24 inches from that. And so they actually need to be right there is good because that'll still be an easy range there. So we'll actually back Goleman up a little bit more just to make sure that he's going to be within six inches of that sergeant mm -hmm. there. And then comes the pod. Dun, dun, dun. Draft pod is not actually being super aggressive. We're just hiding. Trying to stay alive. I, I am a big proponent of being alive. I recommend it to anyone who hasn't tried it before. Staying alive. Staying so the alive. sergeant no. is just at the six point of Gulliman to make sure that I've got all the fun buffs, but we're definitely going to grab amp. Yep. Um, I can see under the impulsor so I can see them fine. Um, then I just have to take the scouts out. The scouts need to provide a little bit more backfield screening just to make sure again that no unexpected noise marines. Unexpected noise marines are my least favorite kind of noise marine. That's within three. Okay, so these scouts are kind of just there to die if someone's able to see them. Okay. Doing a couple of light reading on the way actions work. It seems you can't do uh, scramblers in one turn. Each jet, each zone must be scrambled in separate, separate turns. turns. But for things like raise the banners, you can still raise multiple banners in one turn. It is specific okay, to which action it is. So in that case, I probably won't. So I won't. I'll, I'll scramble here. I won't scramble here. Okay. Sounds good. Yep. Yep. Oh, uh, I won't. I'll scramble mid board. I wouldn't scramble anywhere else. In the back, be yeah. That makes more sense because you can do that. Anytime yeah, I can do that anytime I want to, really. Um, so we're good there. I do need to put my litanies. Uh, yeah, of course. I am going to do just the um, reroll hits, just in case. Cool. We're All just right. keeping the chaplain within uh, six inches of Scorpius in case it decides to shoot at that, uh, that Lord Discordant for any reason whatsoever. Yep, yep. Not that I would. Do such a thing. Okay. So um, I did make sure that the grav can see that Lord Discord because I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to do the Scorpius into the Disco Lord first. And if both of his volleys kill it, we're good. If not, I do have several grav cannons to go in as well. I'm hoping that that will do it. Um, I gain one command point at the beginning of my turn, which takes me to seven. Um, everything I have is on the board. So we'll go ahead and uh, Psychic Phase. Uh, we're going to give Goleman Might of Heroes. Fails on a three. We're going to try to get a command point. Passes, so I'm okay. up to eight. And um, I'm going to spend the one command point to count a unit as Devastator Doctrine. Yep, yep. Now I, so I, I do that in addition to Tactical Doctrine, which is super fun. So I'm either the Scorpius to AP3 to shoot at that Lord Discordant. And um, at that point, I would uh, just be taking him down to a 5-up armor save. Or I do AP4 on these grab devs. And that's taking basically ignoring the cover of these mutilators. I think we're going to put it on the Scorpius. Because the Disco Lord dying is the most important thing for me right now. So we're going to try to take away Mark's ability to just... Right. 
just roll hot. So we're gonna just go ahead and start the right there. The Scorpius is going into the Sword of Scorn. It's still near okay. my seal of oath. So it is six shots, six shots, relatively healthy. Hitting on threes. Seal of Oath is a wonderful relic. And then um, wounding on fours, Seal of Oath. Uh, we will get five AP three on that Lord Discordant. Five ups. He fails gone. all of them. A reroll won't help. Re -roll the Lord not, Discordant hell. is down and they don't explode, which is uh, super convenient. So now that I have a second volley from this Scorpius, we can kind of save this a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to shoot. These Noise Marines can't see any of these Intercessors. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the first volley. Because none of, they can't. Can they see anything besides the aggressors with? Just... No, just the aggressors. Okay. I'm sure the Blastmaster can see a scout. Yeah, Bla Blastmaster, maybe you'll see a scout? Yeah, I accept yes. that. That's yeah. totally fine. All right, so we're going to do um, the first volley of aggressors into those noise marines. Okay. The 2d3, 2d6 shots is 9, plus my existing 12. So we're hitting on threes, re-rolling everything, thanks to Goldman on the other side of that wall. On his cock. Oh, thanks for the Goldman. Thanks, thanks. Thanks for the Goldman. Thank you, my lord of the Imperium. Uh, okay, the rerolls were not really helpful there, but that's okay. I still have many shots. And four is rerolling ones. Yeah. These are AP one, but um, Mr. Uh, Mark is in cover right now. Four, five. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 saves. Here's 8. Uh, they're just all dead. Or no, uh, no, it's a 3 up. You, you have a 3 up, so 3 more. All right, we did go. get this one. All right, so let me see how many can see. And you're tall. I'm relatively tall. So I can see with 1, 2, 3, 4. This other dude cannot see here. They are taller than a rhino? This guy can see. Um, He's taller than a rhino? You're taller than a rhino, so you pop I'm up a little bit. taller than a rhino? Yeah. Oh, all right, well, shoot me. This guy can't see anyone. Aha. These guys can see tips. All right. Well, you know what? I will. Uh, I'll take that. So we'll do free sonic blasters first, because blastmaster just might decide to go into some more places. I need dice. Is that enough? Yeah. All right. All right. So this is nine shots. Nine shots. Ten on threes. Fives. One wound. One wound. Okay. Three up armor. Uh, I do make it. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the blastmaster there too. We're gonna do the high damage. Three shots. Very nice. Two hits. Okay. And two wounds. AP2. AP2. Nor cover. cover, right? Five ups. Fail one. Damage. Three. All right. Kills the wounded model. Kills the wounded so there's model. There's one aggressor left. Should be the sergeant. Boom. No, nope, let's leave the sergeant. Okay. I was going to have the dice to him, oh. so I wasn't sure. Sergeant was not one of the wounds. <laughs> okay. So we got that done. So pretty decent shooting so far. I'm definitely pleased with how it's going. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to just shoot these intercessors. Mm -hmm. You're going to go there. Gotcha. So I think it's better to just do all bolt gunshots here. Um, we're not going to do any command points on this. So just oh, only three hits. Um, I think I'm within 12 of Gulliman. So I'll reroll ones unless I'm not within nope. 12 of Gulliman. Uh, two AP two. We're good. We're he's good on both. So I'm, I'm, there may be a Scorpius in their future. We'll think about that. Um, let's do a grav pod. Yeah. We're going to just um, grab amplification. Put okay. four grav cannons right there. Gotcha, gotcha. One, two, three, four. One of them is firing at ballistic skill two. So this one's at ballistic skill two. Because my sergeant's not firing. Yep. Your toughness four? Toughness four. Threes. Threes, three rolls. Okay. Three AP three. Four ups, fail one. Take one damage, reroll. Take two damage. Take two damage. Taking two so far. You're gonna go ahead and roll the rest. Yep. Kill them. All hit. All hit. Freeze the wound, reroll. Yep. Okay. 12. 12? 12. Well, four ups. Fail free. And fail six. Fail six. So one guy has one wound left. Yep, so go ahead and roll him. Yep, five D three. Just I roll five ones. Okay. Um, so here's the first one. Two at a time could be. Or no, it was one. Right, we'll leave that. You're dead. dead. 3d3 on the last guy. Yep, yep. They're gone. All right. One, two, three. No armorium cherub popped. So the, the cherub is still intact. Um, drop pod can't shoot anything. So all I really have left is the double tap of a whirlwind QRPS. 
it's not a bad thing to have. Um, we're gonna put the double tap into the um, mutilators. I have no mm -hmm. rerolls here. Just three d three shots. Uh, just five. Um, just three hits. And that's one two. Two. Let me think. I haven't used a command point reroll yet. Um. <laughs> You have a five up. You have a four, four up save. I'm AP three because I'm in Dev Doctor in this turn. Okay. Um, for that one model, I don't really want to charge them. We're gonna just spend the command point and reroll this. Okay. Um, don't. So just two saves. Four ups. We're good. Okay. So I might. It's annoying, but I'm probably just gonna leave them there and let you charge the intercessors as much yeah. as I would rather them not be alive. Okay. So I think I am uh, good to go there. We're gonna declare some charges. Okay. This one aggressor is going to go into that uh, rhino. Okay. Go ahead. Um, actually, I get to shoot twice with the aggressors. He'll shoot the rhino. Gotcha, gotcha. Number of shots Thank you. is Try seven total. Yeah. Um, Goleman. Now, logically, I probably should have done this before I... Oops. Just, just one. That one was not. So, one eight one <laughs> We're good. He's good. All right. So, let's just charge the aggressor sergeant into that. Um, five goes well, to six from Gulliman. Clue. Where yeah, you want to go? Good. Right here. We're going to not base you. Okay. So that I can pile onto that objective and then base the Rhino to deny Mark um, another objective for holding. Um, we'll go ahead and call that... I don't think I want to because if he manages to kill the Intercessors, suddenly the noise Marines go here. John, we got a couple mistakes from the chat. Couple uh, mistakes. Yeah, just real quick, your strategy of usage. Squad doctrines has to be used in the start of the phase, so it wouldn't have worked on the grab devs, and it's only infantry and bikes, so it would not have worked on the Scorpius. That's a great clarification. So, can someone tell us what we rolled for the saves on the Disco Lords bin? And I then we could just shoot two fours shoot. and. Uh, I see. It was like one yeah. four, maybe two. All was, right, so wouldn't have worked three. on the grab devs anyway. So glad I didn't do that. The Scorpius, that is a pretty big mistake. Thank you to whoever pointed that out. Um. So I did zero damage to the mutilators, so that's not a problem. Those, um, I, my vague memory is I think one, you did two, kill three, I think four, I, I think four. Because so. you didn't make any five ups. I didn't make any I didn't, five ups. I don't ups. remember three fours. Um, but you could re-roll one of those. Yeah, um, I re-roll naturally, so let's see if the. So re-roll the one and then. See if it even matters. I would have passed. All right, so then I would have put the second volley of the Scorpius into you and also probably grab devs. Um, just do the grab devs because the saves would have been the exact same thing on them. The, but I would have had re-rolls to hand one. That's true. So I'm gonna do. We'll just count as dead. Don't worry about it. Okay, we're well, good. Why don't you just say the Scorpius' the second volley had to take another Disco Lord? Yeah. Yeah. So any damage. That's that, all I was saying. Any like, damage that went elsewhere. Yeah. To that unit, and that unit was pretty similar in stats, but you did have rules. Yep. Thank you again for pointing that out. That is a mistake on my part. Okay. Um. All right. So we're back to where we are, which is John in the fight phase. Yep. yep. All right. So we're just gonna pile in the aggressor sergeant mm -hmm. onto the objective, and we're gonna base you. Yep, yep. Don't want him to pile onto this objective and then take that one. Um, but I still have to take that objective in order to uh, take the banner off. Take the banner. So an aggressor is three attacks base, sergeants four, shock yep. is five. Um, let me actually be cheeky here. We're going to be within 12 of Gullman, and I'll use the consolidate to base you. Okay. So that I reroll once to hit. Because he's a 12 inch aura for all Imperium, I reroll once to yep. hit. So fours. Um, aha! Got me an extra hit, folks. And uh, two, two AP three sixes fail both Six. damage D three, uh, six damage, six damage. <laughs> okay, and then the consolidate will base the rhino, touch that objective. Yep, yep. But Mark still holds the banner. Yes, I still get the banner. Yep. Um, and that's the only close combat going on. Yep. So I get D three attacks because I'm up my last tier. So two because of shock assaults, nothing. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> All right, we're not going to fight twice with that aggressor, as tempting as it would be. If I had a second aggressor, I would do it, but, um... You don't want to risk rolling all those, like, freeze and hit again. Yeah, it just... Yeah. And you don't have to reroll ones now? Yeah, like, it's just not that likely. Like, it could kill it, but I don't need the Rhino dead that desperately, so we're going to call that one there. Okay. So what are we at for command points? So I'm down to five. Mark is about to go to four. Yep. Um, right. Mark is getting five more points on primary. Yep. Need... Take measure. Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry. Mark, how many banners are you getting? I'm getting two banners. Yep. Uh, this one. unit is now going to be uh, Sabbath or whatever. It's over here. Scramble. Uh, scramble. Yep, and so do you have any line breakers? Um, The line breakers? Not yet. At the end of the turn, I think these guys actually may have gotten it. it it's at the end of your you player two turn. Two units. Is it two or so it was one? It's two units at the two. end of your that's, player that's turn. That's my mistake. Mm -hmm. 
So, do an honor to prince, go over there, harass. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da. All right, so. Do we five inches? Four inches. Four inches, okay. You don't have anything on this objective, correct? Uh, no, not at the moment. So, oh, Rhino. Rhino might as well try to try to be there. Yep. You might be within heroic range of that librarian. Not yep. if you do that. He can go right here. Six. Librarian could have uh, been a champion. Punched out a Rhino. All right. All right. Let's take this Disco Lord. Back of his base to get out his nine, been free. Then charge all along. He's just gonna advance on the Disco Lord. So it's time to get out. Mm -hmm. Here, free. Then five. Disco Lord will now jump over here. Mm -hmm. Demon Prince. Demon Prince, yes. Okay. So what you're saying is that he might not be there for long? He's probably not gonna be there for long. He might not be there for long, but he might be. He, there's always a chance. I do believe in miracles, as everyone knows. Yep. You know, that ancient uh, didn't have a noble purpose. So we just got to scramble the backfield. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to take those noise marines. And I can put them on here on the hill. Get them covered. Yep. Um, Take blast masters. Shoot there on the dab, yep. grab unit. Pick up these units. Could do that. Um, And that's a pretty good position. I see that's a really nice position. Yeah, not bad at all. I can spin the plus one damage there. Vets if I need it. And I shoot again. So that's mm -hmm. why I've been saving that four CP there. Not Still bad at like all. the best play. Yep. So two blast masters into the devastators will make me very sad. Um. John, what are your units for while we stand, we fight? My units are the Impulsor, the Scorpius, and a Gulliman. I'm expecting to lose the Impulsor at some point. Although now, if it survives this turn, it's probably going to start running away. Um, but I was uh logically expecting to have the Scorpius and Gulliman for most of the game. That the base wobbly mobbly. Yeah, you're fine. All right, so now keep in mind that if I aspect scan with one aggressor, it will shoot twice. Yes, which is why I'm trying to think if that's. I say that's something I can just take right now because it's turn free. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got to change doctrines. I do not. Or sorry, it's turn. No, it's turn free. I will so change doctrines very soon. Your turn. But I am still in tactical. Mm. I can leave it in close combat, which. I can honor the prince. That's what I was thinking about doing. But you have free wounds left. I do. I think I'm just gonna take the uh, take the shot hits on the chin. Okay. So setting up with these dudes. I like it. I love it. There. Bam. One more there. No. Do 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 do. All right, so nine inches. Make sure everything has currency. Cool. They moved. He moved. All right. So let's go to some psychic. Yep. Let's actually make sure you're not dude... in my. You're just out of my zone range. Okay. It's Twenty-four point one. So all skill. Just to confirm the kill, smite on himself on that dude. Oh, almost on a seven. Take one. All right, so he has um, four wounds left as a primaris ancient. Yep, yep. All then... I at least wanted. Um. And then, let's go ahead. And then. Oh yeah. Just do some. Absolutely. Aspect scan. Aspect scan. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. First volley. Yep. Yep. Could spend the command point for the reroll. What one. is Auspex scanning onto what? One aggressor is Auspex scanning the noise marines. Yep. Because I get to shoot twice. They arrived from reserve? They did. They just arrived from, from reserves right from now. From attack oh, oh, yep. Number of shots um, goes to three. Or, okay. Uh, big unit. I don't know why you don't have 11 man noise marine units. It'll just be so much better. <laughs> would it be? Would it, it be? It would absolutely be. You're hitting on fours, not threes? I'll start over. Okay. You had like four freezes. Yeah. That's all. So now I'm like, wait, wait, go ahead. Did you? All right, I'll start with this. It's totally my bad. Thank you for knowing my rules better than me, Mark. It's okay. All right. We've been jumping around, doing a lot Ooh, of actions. One wound. One AP one. Free up. I failed though. You got it. We're good. Oh, uh, we'll go ahead and just shoot him. We'll shake this guy. Cause shoot those dudes shoot over there. Sure. Oh, three hits. No ones. Okay. All right. So one of the reasons I'm doing this is that the less 
is I'm making Mark shoot with different different models, even though they're or different phases, even though they're probably all still shooting. If I kill a couple here when they're not plus one strength and damage and vets, it's a lot less damage. Yep. Um, so we're gonna do the the thing again. Number of shots. Okay. Um, ten shots this time, hitting on fours. Uh, anytime the unit's chosen to shoot, including Overwatch. And aspect scan. And four AP one. Three ups. Got lose free. Three more. So four noise marines off of that aggressor. So he's a. Those two are fine. He's a guy. See if I can that see one, that, no. that one aggressor. Maybe Mark should have vected that one. Uh, no one's back to No one's? All right. That was a good two command points. Now, unfortunately, he still has six left, and the two Blastmasters can absolutely still shoot into this Devastator unit. Um, I'm just really hoping that I'm going to have a couple of them left. Bell flavor here. Yep. Three shots. Three shots. Wounds me on threes. Yep, three wounds. Okay. Minus two. Two damage. Five ups. The champion with the banner goes down. This is uh, the first model of the army I painted. All right, and then let's go ahead over here. Um, shooting these fellows here. We're gonna bend just because uh, confirming the kill is really important. Is bets and plus one damage because that's the only way I'm gonna kill this aggressor. You gotta bets. You gotta um, bets. So that aggressor is gonna stand tall. And I'm gonna spend a command point to Overwatch him. So all these dudes, these two dudes, the champions within ten. He is not within ten. Ten. This... Uh, for honor the prince charge. Oh, got it. Yeah, you're fine. What, what, what is ten? So we'll put one blastmaster <laughs> here, or one sonic blaster there. Okay. You're Three gonna... sonic blasters here. And you know, the two blasters you know how my there. saves are. I'm losing all three of them. Let me clarify what's here. That's, that's there. still not the most worst thing that could happen. Okay. So can he? So he's shooting several blastmasters at these intercessors. One blastmaster there. Three blast or sonic blaster. Sorry. One Sonic Blaster. Okay. Three Sonic Blasters. And then two this, Blast Masters. The Blast Masters, the big cannons are going downfield onto the uh, Devastators. Yep. So let me think. Because right, I can transhuman. Um, it's 2d3 shots hitting on fours. Uh, 2d6. Oh, you're doing the, the high, vo high volume shots. Because you're one move models. Yeah. And, and that makes me strength five. And your AP one? Yeah. Don't recover. We're going to take it on the chin. It's all okay. two. Uh, not after I aspect scanned. Six shots. Six shots. Okay. Uh, ooh, two hits, one, one wound. Watch it, baby. Okay. Oh, sergeant goes down. All right, and then the free sonic blasters on this aggressor. All right, this aggressor needs to be a champion. Hey, you got free wounds. Oh yeah, because you're strength five. Yep. All right, three up armor saves. He makes two of them, so he is wounded. All right. And then one into the uh... intercessors. Okay. Two, two wounds. Two wounds. Two wounds. Maybe dash. Maybe dash. Yeah. Well, ah, that's fine. The meal there to finish the job. That's how it works. It works. All right. So let's do because that charge is now a lot harder. I need to confirm the aggressor has how many wounds? One left. One left. Three of armor save, right though. Three of armor save. So I can still make the honor defense there charge pretty easily. Yeah. Um. Keep in mind that you'd have to go down the terrain. Right, which I'm thinking, like, that one's there, down, two, three. That one still can make it. On oh. a nine, a ten. On Mark, a, did on you a forget ten. your psychic base? No, he just no I just did one smite. All right. So what we're going to do is just not worry about the honor of the prince. We just need confirm kill on these devastators. No. Put the two no. uh, units there. And then three blast masters here. Mm-hmm. Or Sonic Blasters there, two Blast Masters there on this fella. Can't see him, but he can see the Gulliman. You can see Gulliman? Yep. On the crack. Yeah. All right. If you can see him, you can see him. Nothing I can do about it. So we'll start with the Gulliman. You wouldn't dare. Yeah, two wounds. Oh my god. Two up armor. Good. A little sweaty. Gulliman lives. Uh, Gulliman's right. fine. He's Blast Masters. The Ultimarines. It's gonna be six shots. Okay. Four hits. Twos. Ooh. Two saves. Two saves. Four ups. Make both. Ah, that's not good. Grav devs live. All right. Um, let's shoot them in nice free side blasters on that aggressor. Okay. Do, 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 do. Freeze. Yeah, five wounds. All right. So this is five wounds on. All right. Just AP dash. AP dash. All right. Be a champion. Ooh. I'm not feeling it today. 
not really worth a command point. It's tempting, to be clear. But he can honor the prince, make that charge. Um, and he really should kill me in combat, and I'm just not going to spend a command point to overwatch. Not risk so anything. We're going to let him go. Yep. Uh, as, as fun as it was, he had a good ride. All right. Charges. So what we're going to do next, charges-wise, you need to make sure of one thing when they moved. They need to be make sure they're still within three inches of that wall for that disco. Oh yeah, of course. And we're good there. Okay. Bam. New plan. Kill the disco lord. Scorpius the Dark Apostle. Absolutely. Then Scorpius the Disciples. Eat all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so over here. I think I'm just gonna do some charges. Okay. Mutilators there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Can't target. The intercessor should be biting the dust pretty soon. Touch those craters. Um, we'll leave a small hole just in case these uh always, always brings a roll of crazy charge. Ah, no. no. So far from Tori. Crazy. Yep. No command points on the prince. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. You didn't have command points. I should have kept that aggressor alive. I was thinking yeah. you could still honor the prince. Oh, we'll, we'll leave it as is. Um, go on over there. Strength. Eight. Oh, uh, no, strength seven, AP one, two damage. Okay. Two deaths of false emperors. All right, here come the mutilators. You got six wounds. AP one? AP one. See, was the damage two? Two. All right, I see no reason I can't roll all four up. So I see four reasons why. Intercessor down, folks. Intercessor down. Thanks. Flop. Flop. Okay. And then uh, your turn. We're good. Yep. All right. You're gonna get ten points on the primary. Ten points on primary. So um, I'm at thirty, and I need to make sure that you're not on this objective, right? Currently not on this objective. But you have a, fl a banner flag. I do have a banner on it. You have a flag. What's the CP score at? I'm going up to four. Mark is currently at zero. Yep. Okay. So let me just look at. John, did you get? Oh, you don't know yet. All right. So I can just pop all the grab devs out here. I just move six inches. They'll all be within 24. So what I'm gonna do here. But they may be closer to these dudes over here. I'm thinking of the disco lord. Oh, to disco lord. Yeah, I just want to kill the disco lord. Goleman can handle the demon prince. Goleman can't handle the disco lord if you have a command point, because that's just risky, and I don't want like risks. So what I'm thinking right now, folks, is that um, my beginning of battle round stuff. I'll just start with the chaplain because he's easy. Um, we'll just uh, do. We'll keep doing plus two to charge. Yep, yep. Fails, wise orator. Fails, plus one to wound. We'll go on the Scorpius. Fails, wise orator. Passes. Can we reroll all of them? Or is it just one? As many as I want. All right, so uh, beginning of the, the movement phase, I need to spend now if I'm going to give them a doctrine. We're going to go ahead and do it. We're going to give the Devastator's tactical doctrine. They're going to count as stationary after I move. So if I just move six inches up, the back one is going to be there. They should all be able to see that Disco Lord. Because I really would like the Disco Lord to die. And if I happen to do this and get some of them out of line of sight of some noise marines, that would be even better. But I can't really count on it. How many noise marines can still see me? You good? Probably the two Blastmasters and not maybe just one. I don't know about that. I'll, I'll let Secret tell boop, 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 boop. I'll So four can see them? All right, so basically I'm just going to shoot them first, and then if you kill me, I'm dead, and that's just the end of it. All right, so the Impulsor is going to move 14 inches. He's going to get all the way back here. Just try to make the Demon Prince really work for it if he wants to come get him, because that is a unit I want to keep alive for my um, my secondaries. Um, I want to bring characters out here. However, I really don't want to kill these Noise Marines and have them just annihilate me. This is my turn four, however, so I have to be cognizant of that. Um, Goleman might be able to take it, though. Does Goleman move nine, Nick? Eight. That's why I ask. If I go there, I think he advanced, so he didn't go anywhere. Okay. Move like four inches on you. Move four inches on you. All right, so um, the scouts are going to move out of line of sight, they're going to just go back and I'm going to use them to action and they're going to get my last scramblers. Mm -hmm. Mm 
bloop. Um, Goleman is the, the question. I think Goleman's, the librarian is gonna just step back a little bit, still be relatively hidden. Yep. Uh, Goleman is gonna rumble eight inches forward. So should get him to right there, just around the wall. And he's got plus one to charge, so if I need to do it, I'll, I'll give it a, give it the good old college track. Um, I do have one noise marine actually. Right now they're rerolling ones, hitting on threes. If I just hold still, Gilman's going to be more conservative to give the devastators uh, full rerolls to hit, because I cannot stress how much I want them to do their job. Um. Then there is the jump chaplain. So he is definitely coming out to play. Let me just take a look. He is taller than that crate, so you would be able to see me. So he's just gonna line up on the bottom floor from these mutilators. He is right there. He's less than nine and he's plus two to charge. So I need to roll a seven. Yep. If I make it, I do. If I don't, I don't. Um, what didn't you fail? Which one did you fail? I failed the plus. I failed the plus two. Yeah. So, geez, I am a mess right now, guys. I'm sorry. So let's put him within twelve of Gollum and set it in. All right. So now it is an eight-inch charge, and he's still less than nine. Yeah. It's not an eight-inch charge. I can command point that within twelve or within six. You can probably shoot a couple at Gollum if you really want to, but then you're not shooting grav devs, and I will accept that on its own merits. Okay. Doing the action there, none of the noise moons can see them, the drop of sitting in the middle like nothing. Alright, we're good to go. Psychic phase, we're gonna give, um... Yeah. Um... Might of Heroes, right here. Mm hmm Uh, passes on a 7. Okay, uh, did you, did you walk in the Might of range? I believe so, because I was just... Uh, no, you're right. good. And we'll do the, uh, extra command point passes, some 4. Yep. This librarian has been a champion. Gotten me 4 command points. Um, all right, we're good to go. So let's go shooting phase. We're going to spend one on the grav devs and they're going to do grav amplification. Mm -hmm. I still have my chair, but I'm just going to put all four shots into the disco. Okay. We're going to see if this does it. Um, the alternative would be to split fire and put one into the noise Marines. Let me just think here. You have a, uh, I'm AP three, uh, all the time. You don't have cover right now. I'm winning you on fives rolling. We're just going to do all shots. We're not going gotcha. to, we're not going to play around with this one. Because the Disco Lord being dead is just so incredibly important. 16 shots. Full rerolls. I do not take a heavy penalty because I am counting as um, Devastator Doc or Tactical Doctrine. Okay, that didn't really help. And then um, we're wounding on fives. We're rerolling all of these thanks to my grab amplifications. We'll reroll the failed. So it looks like nine saves on the disco. Nine saves on the disco? AP3. <laughs> hey. no. no. So eight D3 damage, rerolling all of the damage. Yep, yep. He is turbo dead. Okay. All right, we got the disco done. I will go ahead and pop the cherub now. One devastator is going to shoot the noise marines. Okay. Hitting on threes. Uh, it's like you lost your sergeant. I lost the sergeant. The cherub, okay, cherub is a separate thing. Separate thing. The sergeant has Does the Does it count signal. as a model or no? Um, no, so it's it's, okay. it can't take wounds on it. Otherwise gotcha. I would have, it's just like a warrior thing. It has a marker that I never put down. Um, free rolling with Goleman, three hits, wounding on threes, free roll, three AP three. Three AP three on the Marines. Yep. All right, so we got three, three more. Did uh, they take morale last turn? They couldn't have failed. They lost four. Lost four. Yep. Let me see if they would have mattered. No. All right, so we're good. So three okay. more are dying. Three more dying. Nick. We'll go ahead and take you you just said, okay. these two real fast. Shoot on you. See what happens. Right. Who's shooting what? Shooting back on those devastators. All right. They're within 24. The back one was? Doesn't one. matter. One. Nope. Nothing. Sorry. Nothing. No okay. ones. All right. And then. Uh, There's two down and one more to go. Take one Blastmaster and shoot on them also. Okay. Number of shots. Five. Can they finally find that spot? Um, it's three wounds. AP one. AP one. It's on the devs. I do lose two. Cool. I do not have an ancient nearby, so these two are just dead. 
Um, but I'm still high enough leadership that I won't. We'll leave them near Gullman in case something weird happens. Gotcha. Um, okay, so good use, good value right there. I'm very happy with those, uh, those sweet, sweet Devastators. So I still have my Scorpius. Now, if I just shoot at the Mutilators, I'm in tactical, I'm in Assault Doctrine, so I'm AP2. Mm -hmm. But I can still kill one Mutilator. Is the wounded guy the front one or the back one? Back one. Okay, so I'm more confident shooting him then. Um, Gulliman, uh, didn't advance, so he's gonna put his three shots into, uh, them. Gotcha, we are gotcha. definitely not in rapid fire range. Let's go. Uh, it's strength 681. Three hits. Um. More wounds? Three wounds. Two, ones. two AP one. Lose one. Okay. We'll take the blast master and shoot on those devastators again. I'm not surprised. One shot. One hits. One wound. AP one. Yep. Hey. All right. So that's another noise marine down. So I've killed four more this turn. Mm -hmm. Um. Did I get the kill more on turn three? Oh, uh, can't remember. To be honest. I killed the disco mutilators. The five noise marines there. We killed the aggressor, the intercessors. Aggressors, the intercessors, and the character. And the character. Yep. So, so I we stopped tied. it there. We tied on that. Yep. Yep. Right, so I've only gotten it one so far. So we're gonna do the first round of Scorpius. Okay. Um, as annoying as the mutilators are, I feel like I'm more likely to kill the noise marines. But the noise marines don't have any blast masters left, right? No. Okay. Um. Let's see. Or I could shoot that demon prince and just see if it works. So I have both shots left on the Scorpius. Mm -hmm. He's just toughness six eight wounds. Toughness six eight wounds. So he needs if he fails four saves, he dies. Yep. So many tempting targets. I think I'm gonna just try to limit Mark's ability to damage me because this is the only thing that can tag the Scorpius next turn, mm -hmm. which is annoying. Um, but also I don't want Mark to hold objectives. All right, we're gonna go ahead and shoot um the two noise marines with the first volley. Just gotcha. get a, a unit off an objective. Six shots. Threes, no rerolls. Oh. Well, maybe I shouldn't do that again. Let's shoot the mutilators. You know what? Okay. Not that I'm superstitious at any point. Seven. Threes, no rerolls. Um, twos, because I'm targeting the closest unit in my. You're chance. not visible? Is it be closest visible? Yeah, that's a good point. Four, AP2. Four, AP2, touching. So, do threes? Barricades? Do Our crates, I crates they give do? light cover? Infantry? We can check it, see if yep. it matters. It's up spinning eventually. It's I think I failed one no matter what. Matter, it's not going to But matter. it's good to know. So one guy's down. Me too. Alright, um, that's gonna be it anyway. The drop pod can't shoot. He's shot twice. The chaplain has to charge at some point. The librarian will have to charge as well um let's go ahead and charge the librarian first he's the charge okay. i care more about i'm being honest uh barrett or cargo uh, crates cargo crates crates of some sort containers. containers armored containers the librarian will go first he's plus one to charge from goleman he is sure in 11 is it armored containers do give light cover okay so you would have had a three up the there two. which didn't matter but uh we're good uh we'll go ahead and do the chaplain you need to roll an eight and yep. i would have to command point any reroll that's a seven. That's command point reroll at all. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, I'm doing an eight. eight. Chaplain is coming in hot. John, what is Goldman's warlord trait? Uh, he's a six inch aura for heroic interventions. Can you yeah. tell me all the rest of the keywords on the cargo crates or uh, armored containers? Oh, I look like an encyclopedia. Like, <laughs> they are obstacles, light cover, scalable, exposed position. Okay. All right. So you have three ones left on that guy? Because he's not oh, wounded. Yes. He's we'll not use wounded. the power fist then. Okay. So hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Yep, Only yep. four attacks. So the two will miss. Two's... Two AP3. Five ups. Failed I one. failed one. Just one. D3 damage. Give me some money. Ooh. Ooh I'll so, take it. I'll just save my command points, and if you kill me, I'll fight on death. All right. So two so, wounds left on that guy. Strength. Eight. AP. Three damage, one. Ah, okay. 
A little sweaty. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, for the first couple, I was. That's a false emperor. Only one hit, though. No wounds. Okay, well, we're just slapping each we're other. We're slapping each other. Pathetically, then. It's amusing. Uh, the librarian will go next. The librarian yeah. is three normal, primaris four, shock assault five. Hitting on threes, rerolling ones from Gilliman. Ooh, okay. Are rerolling ones from because he's not within six? Yep. Okay, so three hits, wounding on fives, fives. I'm sure. Reroll ones for Gulliman. Three AP four. On See the if triple I warp fire. Oh, well, I, I do to roll damage. I have to roll damage. Oh. If I roll three ones here, oh. four damage. I did nuke, though. Okay. I'll I'm see. taking that. All right, so I'm only going to hit him. Yep. You take three. Okay. <laughs> uh, hold on. I yeah. don't reroll ones, but I'm not within six. One wound. One wound? Okay. So, AP, so one D3 damage. One D3 damage. So I'm Go not ahead and roll that. You. My yep. apologies, folks. You're just right. out. All right, so it was three damage, so you have one left. Yep. A humbug. Rhino lives. Um, and I'll just base it. Gotcha. But I'm just trying to contest more objectives and marks. So I'll get raise the banner. On two of them. Two. I'll get five on my primary. Mm -hmm. And Vin. Sink here. How fast does the rhino move now? Uh, just three inches, I think. Three Maybe inches three. to the objective. So I'm checking. Is that the end of the turn? That yes, three inches does. So Mark no, will be at out. one command point. Just John, out. what are you at? Uh, I'm currently at two. Okay, then we have five more points for Mark. Mark gets five on primary. And what Mark, what about your banners? I really can't get out there. I don't think. What's up? Did you raise any banners? I got two banner points. Yep. So you should and get five. Total. John, did you grind them down? Um, we're gonna find out at the end of Mark's turn. So far, I oh, only have three points for grind them down. They yep. didn't need a morale check. Thank morale. You. I think they're good. Lost four, so they're good. So seven. Yeah, seven yep. sounds fine. So I need to know where your deployment zone is. It's 15. So I could pro I can walk and get there. With, with going with down. going down. That's what I'm trying to sink. Um get line breaker points. Mm -hmm. I messed up that on my secondary. I shouldn't have taken that one. But that's okay. Line breaker is also holy within. Holy within? Okay. Yes, you might need like an advanced roll then to Yep. I thought you would almost certainly would. Uh, the demon prince cometh. Yep. Boom, can you tell me the charge on that point? Sure. Going around the terrain. It's like five. Pretty large because I gotta go around. With the minus two, you're gonna need like a ten. Okay. So it's turn four. I get a command point, so I have honor the prince. That's the thing, is like Yeah. You you could do it. I have to roll a four on two D six. Yeah. And that honor takes you prince. off an objective. That's a big deal. Yep, you would contest me on that. Noise rings would Probably just go over there. I fight here first because I fight first. Mm -hmm. Um. So, let's think here. Did I ever do my litany for last turn? I don't believe you did. If you want to roll it now. So it's let me either... see. What, let me see what, what reroll hits me matter. No. Would five up involved. Five up involved not matter. I will do the slash one to give himself an advance and charge. Let's see if that's it. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right, so we're just gonna be happy there. Devastators need to die. Gulliman's there. What we're gonna do is sink. Let's see. This is a very interesting game. Uh, this Scorpius has been an absolute champion for me. Just the fact that he's been just shooting and shooting the whole game. He, I think he's what has uh, he's been doing a lot of the work for me. Although the grav depths have also been very useful. I think we're just gonna go over here because that's one of your two Nick Nanavati staples right there. Boom. That's one of your we stand we fight. That is one of my we stand we fight. So if you are able to kill it, it would be fairly frustrating. Yep. We jump over here. Mm -hmm. So you can see the librarian? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Vin. Thinking about what else? Well, I try to think if I just fall back here, you're just going to heroic and do some other things, but I can shoot you. Yeah. That's one thing, but also, think here. See, I don't think I can see those dudes from this position. So I'd have to go over there and leave that objective, but I need to have a dude on that objective. Mm -hmm. and also, currently, they can't get to that position. So, think they'll go that two, then they'll just go the four range mm -hmm. right here. Makes sense. 
Is Rhino gonna fall back then? Rhino's gonna see if he heals a wound. Oh. Ah, almost. Needs a six to heal a wound, right? Yep. Quite amusing. And then... He's almost the champion we needed. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull over here. Therefore, if you want to heroic me, you have to leave that objective. Mm -hmm. Um, but I also could just survive. I also could just survive. Cause uh, I have to get a five to wound you. Yep. I only have. I think we'll attacks. do that because if you if you kill me, I'm not taking you off the objective. You just stay there. You get the objective, but you may not kill me. Okay. So, let's go fights. Psychics, Shooting, psychics. Psychics. Shootings. Psychics. Psychic over there. Goes off. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just well, being obscuring terrain. It's not, it's not scary. Oh, it was kind of just the. Uh, this isn't? No, only right. the four center ones are. Take free. Sure. I have four ones left. Okay. And then we got shooting over here. Mm -hmm. Four hits. What is shooting right now, Mark? They're shooting into the library and four wounds. Four this wounds. Is the two noise marines that yep. climbed that This is AP dash damage one. AP dash damage one. I have three wounds left. Gotcha, he's gotcha. Primaris, so he's a five wonder. Make All everything right. Primaris. Except grab us. Well, let's do some charges. Demon Prince over there. Yeah. That's not, not even worth an honor to Prince. You could re roll it, but you need to roll a 10. Yeah. And so I'm trying to think that's. I think that's the best place to spend my 1 CP. Okay. Oh, oh, so close. So close. Oh, man. All right. Um, Can you confirm with me that's just a 10, please? <laughs> and then we're going to try to do these noise rains. Yeah. See if I just roll like an 11. No. A 9 is not enough. Okay. All right. Um, um, the librarian is going to heroic. Yeah, actually. Just a honk. If I could come a little to that way instead. I want my gold now. <laughs> okay. So. Let's get it for real this over time. Over here first. Of course. Stats, strength three, AP three, damage two. Okay, so the the chaplain has four wounds. It's only three attacks. Right? Only three attacks. See if I lose one of these on high roll, I do lose Essex. Okay, so three so hits and three hits. Death of Lucifer. Four hits, twos. twos, three wounds. So I have three four pin wounds. I yep. need to make two of them. Um, you make okay. them all. Chaplain just doesn't care. Um, I'll go ahead and select the chaplain next. Yeah. Um, we're just in combat, so he's just three attacks. Little power. AP. Yeah, we'll just power fist. Yeah. Too good of a save. Two hits. Twos. Two AP three. Two AP three. Five of them bones. Fail both. Oh, mutilator he's down. Dead. Kaplan. Bloop. All right, and then um, I'll do the primary librarian. Yeah. Technically, you can do the rhino first. I could. Not. I'm hoping you don't. You hero me. to me. Nope. Oh. Um, five hits. Need uh, at least one five. Oh. Should be rerolling ones from Goleman. Let's double check this. Can you look at the train marker? Mm -hmm. Pretty sure I'm within six. We're good. All right, so reroll these ones. One AP4. One AP4, see if I nuke. No, I saw the six too. Ooh, that was danger close. Bloop. Go. All right, so your turn. You're going to get 10 points. 15. 15? One, two, three. Hold for more than. Oh, you do. You do hold that one. So that should put that. me at 45 primary. Yep. Okay. Um, so beginning of the battle round, I go up to three command points. Um, I still have these Devastators. I think I'm going to put the Devastators into Tactical again, so we're going to spend that command point. Um, I did get Grind Them Down that turn. Uh, so I've gotten it twice so far. Because I think what I'm going to do is step the Devastators to this side of the wall, back up Goleman to do the same thing. Mark, did you get like... Linebreaker last turn? Uh, no. No. So yeah, that's the only one we're doing beginning, and then. Shouldn't the... I took the Linebreaker. I saw, I saw it was one. It was the other. It was the other one that's an action, but doesn't when you're in your side deployment zone. Teleport hammer like, one. Teleport hammer. Maybe. Um, Should have been the one I took. Chaplain will give himself the aura of reroll hits. Yeah. There's nothing nearby to wound. He fails. Wise orator. He passes, and then he'll do the plus two to charge. He passes. He's gonna rock up. The librarian doesn't really matter. He's just gonna be in consistent in a good smite range. Um, these devastators are gonna step through just to get line of sight to that demon prince. Mm -hmm. um, Goleman just needs to get within six with an eight inch move. He can pop right there. He's within six. He'll get the Scorpius with the reroll ones aura. 
and the scouts will just advance. Yep. They're not doing anything this turn, they're just gonna hop onto the objective even further. Alright, so we'll go Psychic Phase. The Librarian is going to uh, smite. Needs a 5, passes on a 6. E3 Mortal Wounds should hit those Noise Marines. Okay. I do kill the Noise Marines. You do kill the Noise Marines. So, we will shoot the Chaplain. Yep. The chap uh, Librarian, because he is holding the objective. Yeah. The Librarian um, also has less wounds. Yes. So, just in case we get lucky, the first three. Three wounds. Okay, the Librarian needs to make one of these. He's Makes dead. one. There's three wounds left. Three wounds left? Oh, okay. Because he's Primaris. Yep. One wound left. Oh, boy. Next dude. Three hits. Two wounds. Do three ups on this Librarian. Makes both. Ah. Librarian lives. The Librarian will then cast to give myself plus one command point. Passes. The Librarian is five for five on plus one command point. I think. I'm loving this Librarian. Must be nice. Kind of is. Um, we're going to go ahead and do grab amplification on this... Uh, that, that mm -hmm. unit. We're just going to put all eight shots into the Demon Prince right now. Yeah. Hitting on threes because I'm in tactical for them. And I'll reroll that with Goleman nearby. And then I'm wounding you on uh, fives, but I'm rerolling all of it. Yep, yep. So we're at just two. But the grab amp. Three. So three AP three. Three AP three. I fail one. Nice. D three damage, which I can reroll. Is one. We will reroll. Is three. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll just put the Scorpius volley into him. Okay. So hitting on threes, we're rolling ones. Yep, yep. Is going to be six shots. We're rolling ones. Six hits. Wounding you on fours, right? Is that six? Oh, T6. And I'm AP two. So four AP two. Uh, I fail free, so I'm just dead. Six damage, okay. Then the second volley, can I target the Dark Disciples, or can I only target the Apostle? Oh, you can target anyone you want to now, or you can't target them because he's in range. So I can only target, can target him. him. Okay, we'll just put everything on the Apostle then. Yep, yep. Um, is five shots. Four hits. Four wounds. Yeah, four up in bones. Fails two. Fails two. That's a Scorpius, right? Two damage. Dead. All right. All right. I can't, my point, I get two raise the banners. Yep. And I get two more raise the banners, and I get five points. Yep. And that's the handshake. That's the handshake. Good yep. game, Mark. Woo! Good game. That was, a, that was an interesting one. Real quick, what was the final from that? Um, I have Mark gets five more on primary. And four more on raise the banner. Okay. And then, uh, should I have max scramblers, right? Should I have max what? Should I, should I have max scramblers or wait? Did you get scramblers in John's deployment zone? Um, I believe I did at one point, did I? I don't think so, because the mutilators... Because we I messed just... up that turn of warper operations. I charged. I shouldn't have charged. Yeah. Uh, you John, you got max while we stand one fight? Yes. And I'm assuming you got one more grinded down? Yes. And yeah. no scramblers for you? Uh, no, I did get scramblers. Got scramblers at the very end, okay. Yeah, because the scouts got it. All right, so the final score, because it doesn't add it up for us automatically, is <laughs> going to be uh, 20, 29 for Mark, 79 for John. Then we got our paint points. So, and not forget those. Nope. 39 to 89. All right. Good game, Good game bro. All right. Well, well how'd you feel about that? Um, I feel bad because I messed up a couple of my rules. It's okay, yeah, it's, it's, it happens. Yeah. This is what happens when you uh, YOLO into a different Space Marine chapter than the one you've been playing. Yep. But I really like Ultramarines. Marines feel pretty good. They're definitely one of the ones I think is on the top of yeah, the parts. Um, definitely, I, I'd like to get more practice with them, but I feel really good about the army. Um, I'm surprised that um, it's one, after your first turn went better than I was expecting, I was surprised I was able to swing it back. But I think that Scorpius is just a monster. Yes. And then the Grav Devs, uh, the, the Scorpius was going to be yeah, always the problem. The That's what devs, I was worried about. The Grav Dev surviving. Surviving that turn when they when the yeah. Blastmasters went off against you. I'm something yeah. like that. D that double hurts. tapping the, the Blastmasters. I wasn't expecting you to kill all five, but I shouldn't have had all the Grav left. That was like 14 shots yeah. coming in on you. You rolled 12. You didn't have any rerolls. You rolled a little, a little yeah. low at times. Um, I made uh, a couple saves. Um, so I guess every little thing swung slightly against you, and the, the total meant it was pretty bad. 
on that sequence. Um, but that was just such a big sequence because letting them be alive just bought me a Disco Lord. Yep. Um, I, I think the real story is that the Scorpius is a boss. Scorpius is always um, a boss. Bobby G was cool, but the Grav Pod was really useful. The Grav Pod, the fact that it also got cheaper too. The Grav Pod getting cheaper, cheaper was uh, criminal. Yeah. I don't know how else to put this one, folks. That was, uh, that was dumb. Just, just the Grav Pod should not be cheaper. I'm, uh, I'm going to be painting up a second. Right. 100%. I'll probably try to replace the suppressors. They didn't, and maybe bulk up the troops at those points. Yeah, it needs some extra troops. Needs a couple more troops. It needs maybe some tougher troops. Yep. Um, I'd like to get like some infiltrating stuff. Maybe replace one of the intercessors with a big incursor squad. I like the one impulsor a lot. I like one impulsor. One impulsor yeah. is great because it's yeah. still a screen. I don't, I don't think I charge. think they went up in points enough that you're not looking at them as like a big, like mar massive part of the list where you do like four impulsors, five impulsors. I think that's just unrealistic with how much they cost. But um. I, thought, I, I like the list a lot. Um, I liked the list before the game. After turn one, I'm like, I'm garbage. Everything's wrong. Um, and then it, it battled its way back. Um, it's a good list. Um, what do you think? Um, mostly just doing some of the uh, little things. I made some errors, probably strategically on my own part. Mm -hmm. Multiple of those. Um, that's one thing is like just getting practice and testing it out. Mm -hmm. um, but also, like, yeah, most of those. Secondaries, I, I screwed up on the choosing the yeah. second on the uh, what's called, and I missed a scramblers. All I had to do was that was my mistake there. The mirrors yeah. didn't have to charge. I just did max out my scramblers. Yeah. Um, the line breaker was my 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 mistake, and yeah. that's mostly it. Just learn from your mistakes. Nothing Absolutely, wrong with the list yeah. too much. I gotta play with it more no, to see I how like it works. I like the list Those noise marines are super frustrating to play against. They're, they went up a little bit, but like they're still a very good unit. So I really think um, I like the list a lot. I, I think uh, I think we could. No, this this game might warrant a rematch. You know, this one this was interesting, but I think we could both learn a lot from this game. Definitely. Disco Disco Lords. Um, I was. They didn't do much. I felt like since they deployed so far back, they never really got into the game. Like only one kind of presented itself with this threat at a time, and when it did, I'm like, all right, I'll just kill that one. Then the next one came forward, and I'm like, right now, I'll kill this one. So the Disco Lords, I wasn't crazy about. You know. It's not that crazy. Um, if you did the the plus one to hit instead of the um, yeah, if if you did maybe a chaos scorpius, yeah, that would be an interesting idea. Uh, it would be, yeah. it would be a very strong firepower list. It, that yeah, I mean Which you don't get doctrines, but like even that, I only got doctrines for one turn. Um, yeah, because I can't use the stratum. Um, so that's uh, that's an interesting one. Mm -hmm. Maybe they didn't really go up in points a lot. Nope. Nick, you got any questions? For we got us in a the couple chat? questions from the chat. So, John, would you? How would you rate the ancient? Would you take him again? I, this just wasn't a game for the ancient. I liked him a lot. Him shooting that stuff on death did pick me up quite a few noise marines. So I like him. Um, he had a relic which didn't come into play. He's a, he's an aura of plus one attack. That's mo and that's not bad. It, I really like that because if this is a shooting list, but I really like having you need some more counter soul to war so Like off. if anyone came into me, which mark really didn't but if someone did just come into me I really wanted to be able to go beat them up I ended up sacrificing him to get my scrambler because the scout pod couldn't do it, but um No, I, I like the ancient he's he's staying in for another game at least uh, this just wasn't the matchup for him So I don't want to say that he underperformed but he, he got me a couple extra shots turn one, which is useful. Um, so we're going to give him another try. Jury's out. One more question for John. Mm -hmm. Are you back to White Scars or sticking with Ultramarines? I'm probably sticking with Ultramarines for a bit. Um, they're just a good spot going in the beginning edition there. A lot yeah. of tactical things. White Scars is harder because they're they're very much something that wants to go after the list so they know what they're fighting. Or we don't know as much what Ultramarines can universally just fight anything. Yeah, Ultramarines feel very tickle comer. They feel like they're designed to do a bit of everything, which is kind of how these missions want you to play. They want you to get a little bit in your deployment zone, still be shooting, still have some punch. Ultramarines do a lot of stuff. They just, they're not as good at combat as White Scars, but, you know, I can do a little supplementation like uh, Goleman is good in combat. You've got the plus one attack banner. Uh, Might of Heroes on the Librarian makes Goleman even better in close combat. There's enough good things that I... I enjoy having uh, the ultramarines, the, so I think I'm gonna stick with them. The chat just pointed out that characters can't scramble. I just checked it myself. That is correct. And then I get zero points of scramblers. Jeez, I'm terribly sorry, folks. I'm making. <laughs> well, this is uh, that new GT back. Um, let's update that scoreboard again. Let's update that scoreboard again. Drop me some points. Woof. Only 79 to 39. It was All an right. outlier. <laughs> um, yeah, it makes a difference though. That's uh, gotta get better about that. Yep. 
Just reading those secondaries. I yep. think that's pretty much it for mm -hmm. the chat. I just want... Oh, wait, 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 Ooh, wait. One more. The important question. Are mutilators here to stay? I think so. They were really cheap. They were really cheap and really durable, and they did a hurrah harassment. So mm -hmm. they did their job. Yep. Uh, also, what do you think about the update to Scar's sub-faction trait? I think it's really strong. Um, I still like White Scars quite a bit in 9th edition. Um, I want to try out Ultramarines um, because it's a new army. Um, and I've played a lot of Scars before. And I do legitimately think that Ultramarines are... I think they're the best Space Marine chapter um, overall right now. Um, and I, I really want to just get more experience with them. Uh, learn you know, learn more about their rules and uh, get some more practice. Yep. Uh, a couple things for everyone in the chat. Uh, if, you, if you want to see the World Leaders or you just want to see some more competitive games, we are doing a sale right now in the War Room, which is where we do live coaching stream matches, teach various classes, and you can interact with these guys, the coaches, and many more of the Art of War team in the War Room. If you sign up during the month of July, you also get a free personal call along with that. Check it out. It's just amazing value. We all like to talk. Sometimes yep. we don't we like really to talk. We really do. Don't. And Mark will be playing World Leaders this coming Wednesday in there, so if you want to yep. see that, you know that's where to go. Um, also, at the end, we're going to play every faction uh, at least once on stream time and show off how the how we view 9th edition and how armies need to adapt. But after that, we are going to do a little round robin RTT between the four of us here in the stream house. Stay tuned for more details on that, but that will be your ultimate bro hammer championship that I will win. <laughs> okay. So, uh, work twice. thank you everyone for tuning in and watching. We can't do this without your support. Uh, thanks so much for following and subscribing and doing what you do. We love you all and have a good afternoon. Oh, also Friday, we are doing another match. Same time, same place, 6 p.m. Eastern time. As always, it will be my sisters busted out versus Mark Perry trying out the new orcs. The new orcs. We will Let's have go. gas Jack on the table. I'll have the triumph and we're going to try some weird stuff. I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.